Hello, hello. <laughs> Let's get some things set up here. It, it, it's been weird. I've been trying to connect it with YouTube, you know, this uh, live stream. And I can't live stream to YouTube right now. So I am going to record this and then I'll have to upload it after. It's giving me weird errors. Don't like it. There we go. I'd say that's pretty good. We can hide that. Boom. We're looking at Vicecraft today. Not sure how long I have the stream. It's definitely going to be maybe one to two hours. So I have a, I have a couple things. See that? So Vicecraft is going to be undergoing its mod rewrite either this stream or definitely next stream. And I started to last night kind of doodle a little bit as to like how I want the machines to to kind of be organized with. Uh, so so my thought so far, and I've been thinking about this the past couple days, you're going to have your base machine. It's going to be just the chassis. You can't turn it on. You can't store items in it, right? It's going to be an empty chassis, and you're going to have two slots. Uh, you're going to have some kind of module slot or the instruction circuit slot, and then you're going to have your chassis slot, your expansion slot. Um, and then it's a combination of those that will transform the machine, you know, into whatever you want it to be. The benefit of this is if you want to break everything down back into items, you could just take out both modules and then convert the base back into an item, you know, that you could like store on a shelf or something. I'm thinking this is the way I'm going to want to do it. And then each chassis, you'll have three types. You'll have like a speed chassis, right? A one-seater, no inventory, the fastest version of whatever the, the module slot is. You'll have a standard carrier, right? Which is going to be like what everyone's used to. It's a two-seater, probably has two chess inventory slots or something in it. And then the speed's like moderate. And then you have your hauler, which is going to be the slowest, it's going to have only one seat, but I think I'm going to expand the inventory to eight, um, eight slots. And why, when I say slot, I mean, you can put a chess in the slot and you'll get like nine slots. So really, you know, it, it, it's a, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot. I'm going to have to do some magic kind of positioning all that onto the screen. <laughs> So that, that's what I'm thinking so far. Then the modules, you can just kind of freely pick whichever ones you want. So we are going to start redesigning things with this in mind as a little as a little cheat guide. So I guess what we need to do first, there's a lot of things we're going to need to do to make this happen. Um, I should probably, you know what I should probably do? Let's go down to my references here. And we are going to create a whole new section. Are you kidding me? Does it really need to, to do this? There, I'll leave three. So something like this. I'm going to... Um, these will be... Mod Rewrite Changes. Uh, the first one I could think of is um, remove old wrench item and use the new in-game wrench. I'm going to try to get rid of my wrench and just piggyback off of the wrench that was already added to the game. Figure one less item, good enough. Uh, the next thing is going to be remove sprint turbo feature uh the next one is going to be remove durability drain while machine runs the next one is going to be Oh, what were what were the suggestions again? This is why I want to make a list so I don't mess at, miss, uh, mess anything up. Oh yeah, um, create a mod config op option to disable player inflicted damage, and I'll say um 
false by default, right? That was a request. Um, make the slowest speed so I could do um, flying hauler combo a bit faster than sprint plus path speed. So I want my slowest machine, right? The slowest combination. That's going to be your flying and hauler combos. It needs to be faster than if you were sprinting on land, right? Straight line um, on a path to getting that speed bonus. So it's got to be faster than that. Um, yeah, I think these are going to be the big things from the feedback that I got. Um, apparently, removing the sprint was a big thing, right? Like, I guess, you know, it, it's kind of annoying having to always, pre you know, hold the sprint key. The machine just should go, right? It, it, was, it was a neat feature. I thought that could maybe bridge the gap you know, between upgrades, but I think with this new system, I'm not going to have to put an upgrade system in, period. Oh my god. I love this Mountain Dew. Live wire. Mm. Orange soda Mountain Dew. Yeah, but I, I think, yeah, the, the sprint feature is not really going to be needed. Um, durability drain while the machine runs, it's going to be good to remove that. Um, Apache made a really good point that with my machines, the fact that you already have to have fuel, um, you know, that's already an upkeep for the machine. So it's like, I understand that. If, if that is the case, though, um, make um, fall damage, right? Make fall damage um, take durability so i'll trade it off i'll have it to where like if you if you sustain a lot of fall damage um it will take durability instead maybe if you're cruising at full speed and you ram into something i could probably have some durability hits there that way it kind of prevents people from just like coming in hot you know um yeah <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'll I'll try and put that in. Uh, create the mod config. Someone suggested creating the mod config to be able to have player damage disabled, you know, taking down durability. So, you know, I could put that in. I'll have it default to false. So if anyone wants that extra protection, they'll have to just change their configs. Um, make the slowest speed... Okay, faster than sprint. Okay, plus path speed. I already went over that. The wrench is going to be interesting. Let's try to work on that first, because we, we have a lot of things to look at, a lot of things to do. Um, I'm not even sure if... Item wrench to entity machine frame. What the fuck did I name that for? What the hell? Jeez, man. <laughs> uh, let's let's look at item types. Let me make sure this is even the right goddamn thing. Tool wrench. No, it's just item wrench. What the hell is this then? Uh, let, let me take a look here. So wrench, basic tick. Oh, I think this is something different. Used on entity machine frame. It, this this is just an empty thing I was gonna convert. It's it's dead. It's dead. Let's save this. Um, as, as people suggest more things, I will, of course, add them here. So I need to come down to here. We need to get out of Entity. That was my problem. And I need to come down to Item. This is where we need. So basically, I want to make sure that I'm not doing anything special here. Um, 
and unfortunately it looks like I am. What am I doing here? So item wrench. Unheld interact start. So what do I do here? If you are not sneaking, it's not going to do anything. If there's no entity, it doesn't do anything. If the machine is a entity machine frame, so if this is a frame and it has some things, okay, so I I sent something to trigger the event. Hmm. I don't think I can get rid of the wrench. Instead, maybe I can make a unique item so it's not a wrench. It's kind of confusing having multiple tools, right, of the same type. Um, or what I could try to do is... I could oh see the problem is I'm sending a message to the player letting them know the status. Um and if it's a machine I send a status and then I do like a repair. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then what do I do? I step through and I start sending them updated messages. When I stop I damage the item. I think probably what I should do then, because a lot of people seem to be confused. They thought my wrench was was um, ruining the wrench that was in-game. Turns out that it was just the in-game wrench that was having problems, and they thought because the words were the same, my wrench was doing it. Don't know why, don't know how. Don't really care why or how. Um, but that issue did resolve itself with an update on Vintage Story. So... I'm going to look up um, engineering tools maybe oh uh, you know what i could do oh goodness what what was it called the it, it was in it was in world of warcraft it was it was that that tool that you needed oh man I, i'm trying to remember what it was called some like arc ah damn it <laughs> I'm totally going to take some inspiration from WoW. <laughs> it, it, oh, God, what was what was the shape even? Kit removal. I'm not I'm not seeing anything here. I, I, I'm like, I could log into WoW and I could I could get it like I know I have it on my character. And all the pictures that I'm seeing here are not even close to the engineering tool that you use in WoW. It's a stupid useful engineering items. Engineering skill, maybe? I thought it was like the arc span or so. I don't know. I'm probably way off. It's been a while since I played WoW. I just, I just remember the tool. Atomic Recalibrator uh polarity amplifier no wait arc arc light arc something arc light right come on no the, you, okay so you had like your arc light capacitor maybe that's not what it was hmm This is this is always the hardest part, right? Like what what am I going to make this tool? I think maybe I should put this for a bullet point and then do this later. I I can brainstorm, right? So if I want Oh, wait, wasn't like a... Wow. I thought maybe it was like an arc light spanner is what I was thinking of. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, the arc light spanner. It, it, oh, damn it, it's just like... It's just a wrench. Look at this. <laughs> just a damn wrench. There we go. That's what I was like. So it's... <laughs> fucking wrench anyways 
<laughs> I go through I go through all this just to pull up another wrench. Another GD flipping wrench. You know what? I'm gonna make my own here. Um remove old wrench item. We're not gonna do that. Remove old wrench um name and model. Rename it to something else. Make it part wrench slash hammer slash screwdriver, I guess. Oh, oh, like a Swiss army knife. knifed okay so i'll do that off stream that's not going to be a problem I'll, i gotta come up with a name um i can rename things it's not going to change anything specific let's just rebuild let's hop in the game and, and take a look take a look at things i'm gonna have to clear a lot of stuff out So it begins, it senses, it remembers, all that came before. So I think once we're in the game, um, I should probably start redesigning from the uh, the machine itself. So we'll, we'll create a new entity. We're going to create a new kind of machine. Uh, we're going to give it a new model. Gonna give it all. So this is the I got the machines working for the most part. Um, I had to shift some things around. So basically, like you can come in here, right? You do you realize that you sit a little lower. I move the seats down in the model. Um, so you're not, you know, it, the way the the way the seating is, like it's this kind of seating, you know, like the crisscross applesauce kind of seating. Um, the the old way where your your animation where your legs were down apparently they removed that animation and or made it to where it wasn't accessible as it was before like i can't call that animation um i can't call any other sitting animation other than this one so i looked and i'm like you know what it's not bad i set it down a little my butt is still in the seat you know it, it's it's not too bad i can't i can't have my arms up anymore uh, because this animation seems to uh, use those arms as well. Hmm. But uh, a good point here is um, the extra metal I have at the bottom in the new model I have, like I actually set that higher. Um, I, I, I can tweak things a little better because the seating is uh, seating's a little... I, I, I actually do like this a little more. Uh, feels like you're actually inside of it instead of sitting on top of this thick chassis. Um, but things do work. This is all the original stuff. I fixed everything for the most part. Um, I do need to redo the the GUI and rebuild it. Because I'll show you here. If you shift-click, it erases items. So it has that same bug all my other mods have. Um, but we could put things in. It does the proper fuel calculations, turning it on. Kind of plays all the animations, starts everything up again. You know, we got gears turning. Um, I will be redesigning. I will be redesigning the airships here. We are not going to have thrusters anymore. I should probably type this in. No idea. No idea who that is. Um, redesign machines, uh, redesign machine models, no more thrusters, use rust tech themes, there we go. Because I, I wanted to not clash so much with the game. I thought thrusters would be good because you are burning coal. Um, but yeah, see everything. Animations are working again. Uh, movement. This movement is so freaking slow. 
Uh, this is why I'm saying like the the slowest thing it needs to be it needs to be faster. It needs to be a hell of a lot faster. And we'll get there. We'll get there. But at least it's working. I did also change things to where if you crouch control, that will actually dismount you from the machine. It's no longer that weird G key sit. Um, so it seems to be working pretty well. You could tap it once. Um, thank you, Tyron, for, uh, for, for fixing that and adding that in the game. I, I very much appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm going to be able to get rid of a lot of extra stuff, like all the, all the extra buttons I have for like sprint. Cause that's going away. Um, I, you know what we could work on right now? Let's work on the fact that as the machine runs, durability is ticking down. Uh, let's, let's get the easy things done. Cause that is going to be pretty easy to deal with. I think I have to go into... It's not interfaces, it would be systems, this would be the fuel system. Let's move this over here. Because fuel is already an upkeep, right? Like we don't, I don't need to make it harder. <laughs> That's what she said. You know what? This has to do with uh, burn time. I completely separated this out, so it should be in the durability system. Here we go. Main durability logic here. If the machine's broken, or if it's not broken, active durability system. Okay, so this is how I'm ticking down durability as it runs. In order to prevent that, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to leave myself a note. Disabled to prevent durability loss while engine runs. There we go. Let's fireball that in. So we are at 96 right now. Oh, I gotta gotta reload. <laughs> kind of eager to you know my, my only question is how do i make the uh the different modules for the machines you know how do how do i make the different uh chassis types do i make three separate items or can i make one item that you can just convert into whatever type you want i was gonna say that wasn't the machine i'm looking i'm like this machine's smoking already Durability's low. There we go. So we're at 96% durability. So 240. Let's let it tick down a little bit while we look at other things. If it stays 240, then we know it successfully is disabled. And and, and my man Apache can sleep a little easier <laughs> when he uses my machines. Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. It's going to be fun. I will just put a done in front of everything that I do. Uh, remove sprint. Yes, yes. We need to just get rid of the whole sprint system, which would be called turbo. Because I'm, I'm making these things just fast innately. You're, there's no sense in having a button you're going to hold down all the time to achieve speeds if I make the, you know, the base speed the fast speed, right? So again, right, this would be applying active turbo. What is active turbo doing? It is Yep, it's it's draining um turbo watched attribute. So it's doing its own ticker right now. Not bad. Um I'm going to globally disable this system, but I will not delete it. Instead, what I'm going to do is at the top, I'm going to put a note. System is inactive. Um, was commented out from setup machine. 
for this, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shut down the game. I just realized it was running this whole time. It didn't save anything. Oh, whatever, whatever. Let's go to setup machine. So the way I can easily get rid of this, right? Get rid of turbo. So we're not even initializing it. Let's not initialize it here either. Uh, let's get rid of the watched attributes for turbo. And that is literally all we have to do. I am so glad I rewrote this mod with the last rewrite to break things out because this would have been a nightmare had I not done that. Uh, what we also need to check on, too, is um, coming down here, there is a special sprint button that I have here. Which I already disabled. I already disabled sprint. Okay. Uh, I probably did that when I was uh, fixing everything. So all these other controls, move forwards... Uh, I need to add some of this stuff back, left, right, up, and down, space, and X. I have to change this. Uh, it's got to be, instead of references, I realize that um, this, this was the first mod I tried to make references for, and there are other things called references, like in C Sharp. So it was kind of annoying. So just putting my mod ID, you know, the abbreviation ID in front kind of fixed a lot of weird headaches for me, calling the uh, wrong class file. So dismount, we know, you know, should I make a dismount key to where you can make it any other key you want? I could probably, I could probably add that. Worst case scenario, no one uses it. Uh, left control, that sounds good to me. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to because it's still hard-coded in. I feel like I'm going to run into problems if I try to, if I try to do that. Uh, let's see. There's the shift key. That would have been sprint, special ability. I could keep those disabled. And then that is the soft key helper I tried to make for the weird janky dismount. I had to come up with because there wasn't anything in game that could dismount you properly. Okay, so we brought up all these other config options. Let's take a quick look, make sure that everything comes up in the game. Let's rebuild. Ah, oh, here we go. We got some some issues here. Aha, we had more to uh, get rid of. So we don't want any game tick listeners for Turbo because we're no longer using that system which means that down here um, handles machine on and burning fuel logic. So, okay, so I was saying if the sprint was active, then we're setting this Boolean. Uh, we can just get rid of that. I'm going to comment this out because we don't care. And then down here, can sprint with turbo is actively sprinting these two methods are not needed at all which means i am going to have to prune those out as well let's do a quick rebuild and see where the other errors are hey hey oh done <laughs> i thought for sure i was using these somewhere else did i already disable them oh i did up here okay never mind and then the can sprint with turbo. I wasn't even using that that method. Oh, it was an override. Which means I should find these um, upstream. Where is it? It would be probably entity mountable that I have this in. Yep, here it is. So under controls... I'm going to comment this out, right? So I no longer have to look for the sprint key. I no longer have to care about those methods. So we can comment all those out. If we go further down, it's going to be a similar thing because I have a different movement style for each type. 
movement speed. So here, right, sprint, we are not even going to check. Here we go. Last one. There we go. Let's go further down. These two we can just get rid of. There we go. Uh, there's going to be more we have to deal with. I think that's it. Let's rebuild. All right, success. We pruned everything out. <laughs> and I'll probably keep the code just in case I want to turn sprint into something else. So the way I did sprint is basically you hold down a key and then I change a watched attribute depending on if it's held down. Um, it's true. If it's not held down, it changes that watched attribute to false. Um, which definitely works, but I could use that for other things. It doesn't have to be sprint. It could be for, like, if I want to add weapons to the machines for some reason, and then I want to hold down whatever the fire button is, you know, to shoot a projectile or to rapid shoot, you know, something would be used like that, right? If I want to create a force field barrier, if I want to hold a channeling thing to have this teleport to a, a stone, like whatever crazy crap I want to do. Here we go. All right, so uh, 240. We have to make sure, 240. Uh, let's take a look at our settings. We should have a whole bunch of things related to the machines now. Here we go. Machine forward, back, left, right, up, down, our GUI. So let's test some of this, because like X is down now. Is that the case? That is not the case. X is not down. Uh, Looks like Sprint is disabled right now. Holding it down. Durability is not going down at all. We are gaining energy, so each time energy ticks, durability should have ticked. So that's good. But to go down, what do we have? I have it set as G, so I have it statically set somewhere. Okay, so we need to uh, we need to work on that. Where is the movement here? I bet I I bet I statically set it in here. Just to get things working. Yep, right here. Controls floor sitting. I don't want that. What I want is um because floor sitting is G, right? Ah, see, this is this is the problem. Jump is space. So so none of my none of my keys are actually going to work here. That's probably why I disabled most of them. I'm rabbit holing myself here. I'm not going to All right, I know what I'm going to do. It looks like I don't have to test anymore. We're still at 240. We have there it ticked again. It's been ticking. It's not going down. We got rid of the sprint. I think we're good. We're going to leave the world. I'm going to gracefully shut it down so it saves. And we're going to go back into here. I am going to get rid of all of these. Right? Except for this. This is the only hotkey that we really need. You know, that you could remap. Hitting R to open things up. Did you get good already? You know, Bernardo, I am trying. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it sounds, right? <laughs> How you doing, Bernardo? Guess what I did? I got new emotes. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I'm pretty good, thanks you. You know what? I am doing pretty well. It's 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 a good day. I, I got the emotes up. I have an idea um, of how I'm going to change the uh, machine mod, make it more dynamic. I'm I'm getting rid of a lot of the bloat systems. You know, it's like you try and make things super realistic, and then you don't realize that it's I don't know. It, it's it, it takes away the fun more than anything. So we, we got a list of things that we're going to be working on here. Um, 
first one we, we did a couple already actually i gotta mark some things off where is it here we go so i remove durability draining while machines are running i just remove the uh, sprint system instead the speeds are going to be just innately fast so you know there's no sense in having someone hold down the sprint key while they're moving around it it should just be fast um I guess next we could create the the mod config option to disable player inflicted damage um, to durability to be specific. Let's do that next. I think that's going to be a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, let's go under mods. Here we go. Hmm. See, for all this stuff, I had things preset. I'm going to have to tweak all of this when I redo the speeds. Uh, average amount of seconds an item will power the machine for, yeah, that's, so that's good. Okay, so to make a new mod option, I'm going to have to probably make a new section. You know what, actually, I'll put it under general settings. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Instead of burn time with machine pellets, this should be, um, should players or I, I should say can players damage machines with a question mark because this is a bool right so default will be false which means I also need to change this I could name it like player oops Damn it! <laughs> Player damage machines. Copy. Uh, for this, I could do player damage machines um, durability. And then here, <laughs> I can do player damage machine turn it into an uppercase constant durability all caps we are going to have to create this go back into mod config copy this and we are going to put this where probably down at the bottom right i have a config section yep here we go so I could do a public constant bool, paste in the name equals false. Save that. This should be happy. Oh, can't do bool to int hot. There we go. <laughs> now you're happy. All right, so now I need to copy this. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to look at the uh, machine logic. I'm going to have to look for anything in here. Like, I got to find out where I override um, damage. And then all we have to do is just put this uh, bool in here, right? Do a quick check. Like, should, you know, is the damage from an entity player? If so, is this enabled true? If it's enabled true or false or you know whatever the bool is then you either allow hurt or not right on hurt called when the entity got hurt now so damage oh, oh here we go receive damage so what i can do right here right i can say if um i don't think this is what i want to do i need to go upstream a little more i think because this is how it receives the damage. It plays the hurt animation. Um, probably not here. Not there. Let's look at damage source. Maybe I could do it there. Uh, enum damage source source. The type of source damage came from. Enum damage type. And then the source position location. So let's take a look at this. So, okay, block player. So I could I could take a look at the damage source. 
and I can see if it compares to entity player, right, then negate the damage. Yeah. So so I can do it here. Hold on. So I'll, I'm going to put it in should receive damage. It looks like it does this first. And then it probably jumps into actually receiving damage. And then on hurt, you do this, right? So we could cut it right here. Um, I could do if we'll do uh, damage source equals... Right, and then I can say um, damage source dot player, right? Because oh, it would be um, shoot, I don't think that's that's it. Um, because I need the enum damage source. Enum damage source dot player. I'm not sure if this is going to work. We're going to have to put a couple print statements here. Uh, return false. If I could spell false. There we go. Uh, let's, let's put a couple print statements in. VM references dot logger. Let's see. Hmm. Where did I know you from? Ash the Dash Live. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where you know me from. I, I play I play a lot of video games. Um, from Noob, maybe? I have no idea what Noob is. <laughs> you ever been raided by Noob? Maybe? Maybe? A long time ago? I don't know, man. I, 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 got, a, I got a little one-year-old now. My my short term memory is <laughs> it, it's it's on point. The long term memory with the lack of sleep, uh, that's the challenge. <laughs> oh man, let's see. So I could say this would be damage source equals. Uh, let's pass damage source here. Actually, I, that's all I need. Okay, so we are going to look for this print statement here. I have a feeling this this uh, this right here isn't going to work. Mainly because I probably should do damage source. I got to be more specific with it. I could do source entity. Interesting. The source entity the damage came from, if any. Oh, snap. This will be even easier. Okay, so hold on. I could do damage source source entity does not equal null and there we go. And damage source dot source entity um is entity player. Come on, where is it? There it is. So basically with this, right, I do a quick check because the damage source could be um, from explosions, could be from fall damage, could be anything. So I'll do a quick check to make sure that the damage source entity is valid, uh, that it was an entity. And then I'll do a quick check to see if that entity was a player. Now what I can do is put an another if statement in here. We can get our config option. Yeah, this is this is awesome. Uh, we'll do vicecraft machines dot config dot cancel paste. So if this is true, we'll do return false else. Okay, so if this is true, so that would mean can players hurt item or hurt entities, right? Hurt machines. This would have to be true. There we go. If not, false. So I think that's what it is. I'm just I'm going to get rid of this. We're gonna do some testing. Yo, a kid, is it fun having a child? Honestly, uh, so I'll I'll tell you about it. Like I, 
I always felt like I, I was very selfish with my time. Like I, I made sure that, you know, there were no like oopsie babies or anything from any girls uh, that I used to date, you know, like I, I might, in my mind, I thought like, you know, I'll know when I find like the one right and start a family. Um, of course, you know, I met Freya, which she's amazing. And, and then, you know, we're talking about, you know, actually being adults, right. Having, having a family, having kids. And it, you know, it was a scary thing at first, but eventually it's like, you know what? Like th there seems to be a lot of joy from it. You know, I, I was, I was a little concerned at first, but you know, you, you just love someone so much having the child, you know, cause they're, they're like little things, right? Like it, it, at night, you know, when, you know, cause we were keeping track, like technology is great nowadays. We have so much knowledge. You could tell like, oh yeah, you know, like, you know, as soon as, as soon as my, my, my little one started to like develop hearing, you know, like he, he would actually like, you know, like turn over. Cause every night I would talk to him, um, it, you know, he would like turn over. Right. And he's like, you know, he's like growing in there, but you know, like he would press his head against to like, listen, like it, it's, it's, it's such an amazing experience having a child, uh, but don't get me wrong. Some parts of it sucked. Like when he was first born, there's a lot of like, you don't know what you're doing. It felt like, it felt like hell <laughs> in, in a way, like, like I was in purgatory. Cause he, you couldn't put him down at all. He would, he would cry. He would scream, like could, did, would only fall asleep in your arms all the time. Oh, it was, it was horrible. Like I, and, and my wife and I had to take shifts. So I was, I was until like two in the morning and then I got four hours of sleep and I also had to work as well. And I'd sit there and he would be on me. Right. And I, I put on the show alone where these, these dummies go out into the woods and they just suffer. And I'm like, I can't sleep. Like he's thrown up on me. There's been so many shit explosions and it's like, Oh my God. Like I can't, you know, and I'm just like, I can't put him down because as soon as I do, he just fell asleep. It's like midnight. I have work at eight in the next morning, but I can't go to bed until like two or two thirty. <laughs> like it, it felt, it felt bad. Right. <laughs> like I was like, this is, this is torture. But like after that, like watching him grow, best thing, the best. I, I, I very highly recommend it coming from someone who thought he was never going to have a family or kids or anything best thing the best he's gonna be able to play video games soon right like how how fun is that being able to be able to play games with with a mini you <laughs> mm. but yeah long story short it is fun having a child <laughs> It's like learning to walk right now. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's like I, I remember seeing the uh, ultrasound where he was this like little speck, and you got like we got to see his heartbeat for the first time, and it was like two pixels like fluttering on the screen really rapidly. You know what I want to fix? I want to be able to stand on these hit boxes. I've never been able to figure that out. All right. Um. So, player damage. Let's take out a sword. Let's take out this. So I should be able to. Yep. So I can do it right because it's false. Uh. Let's go in the config options. Vintage story mods. Nope. That's not it. Vintage story. Roaming, data, mod configs, vicecraft machines. Oh, here it is. I'm like, why the, why the hell isn't it coming up? <laughs> so it's should machine sound, hauler, average seconds, burn time. Oh, did I not, did I not restart this? This is weird. It's not, uh. First of all, I wanted to open with something else. I want to open it with Notepad. This is what I'm used to. So we got the burn time. Hey, it looks like the 
Looks like it wasn't even added. Interesting. Uh, what we can do, I may have to delete the config and refresh it. We're going to stop the game. We're going to delete this. I'm going to save. Close that out. We are going to rebuild. And start again. While the game loads, all right, there's our new config file. Machine engine on. Can players damage machines? Here it is. So it's set to false, right? That's the default. Oh, wait, no, shit. I should have that at true. Can players damage machines? So I should I should I should reverse the logic. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Too much clutter on the desk. Get rid of the wrench. I don't care. Here we go. So we'll set this to true. Players can damage machines by default. We're gonna have to shut down again. <laughs> there we go. Change this, uh, which means I'm gonna also have to change some of the logic here, right? So the default is true now. We're going to save that. We also have to come into the entity machine where it says should receive damage. So if this is true, it means that it should go through, right? So I should do a copy, paste. So we can do the uh, all the innate stuff for that. If not, if it's false, then you can't damage it. Okay. Rebuild. Start. Oh, shoot. Wait. Stop. I have to delete the old config. Let's regenerate it. Build and start again. Players can't damage machines. Wait till the kids start walking by himself <laughs> yeah i know right <laughs> he's 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 a little clever boy a little clever boy <laughs> but he's he's definitely um you know he's babbling a lot he's trying to stand on his his big thing is he wants to do everything by himself you can't just you know pass him his you know cup of milk or anything like you, you have to like, you know, set it down or, or he'll take it from you and then he'll throw it on the ground or something and then he'll go over to it and then he'll pick it up and then it's what he, you know, you can't like feed him anymore. He wants to take the spoon and feed himself. <laughs> All right, let's pull up another sword. You know what? Let's pull up this nice silver one. All right, so we could damage, right? Should be damaging. Uh, let's open up the config option. We're going to change it now. So let's set this to false. We're going to save. And now we're going to reload the world. If everything is working correctly, we should not be able to damage it anymore. And then that, I, I forgot who um, who popped in to give me that suggestion, but... They should be taken care of. Nope, can still damage it. <laughs> All right, so we need some print statements in here to see where things are uh, going wrong. Oh, duh, this is where it's going wrong. Jeez, okay, so... If it's this, then do this. Um, it, it's it's a it's a mistake in the logic here. You know what I should do? Let's cut this out, right? Paste. Let me get rid of this. I can get rid of this if it's a player, and if this is set to false, then return false before you do anything else. Let me throw in the um, logger so I could see where it gets to. VM references dot logger. I'll just say 
here. Boop. There we go. Fireball it in. I'm going to reload the world one more time. Hopefully, I, I think I'm in the right place, right? This should damage. You would think that would prop that would uh, propagate first. Although I could just I could copy all that logic out, put it in the receive damage. Could just do that. Nope, can still damage it. Uh, let's take a look at the logs. Where the hell are my logs? Here it is. Boop. Oh, so what happened? It did not it did not display that at all. Rift weather not available. Whatever. Interesting. Let's try and move all this stuff to another place then. I won't do it here. Giggity. Boop. Let's do it here. Right? Um, instead of return false, yeah, no, no, return false would be what I want. Fireball it in. Probably what I should do is have a before and after. I'll do a here one and a here two. That way I make sure that it even gets that far to begin with. I may have to reload again. We'll do it one more time. Just in case. <laughs> All right. I have the logs on my other screen right now. It's not even being called right now. It's not displaying any of this. So receive damage. This may not be what I thought it was. On hurt. Called when the client got hurt. On the client side, damage source is null. Oh, that's interesting. So we got what? Apply gravity. Two bytes from bytes. On interact. Or if it's on interact. Oh yeah, here we go. On interact, right? If mode equals interact mode attack. Yeah, this is what what are the other interact modes here? Attack and interact. Oh, so so what I could do. I could just do something here where I could say if um, pull up the Vicecraft machines config dot player damage machines durability, right? So if this is false, then maybe I could just do a return. Let's try this. Fireball it in. We're going to reload. I guess that would make sense because on interact, if you are in attack mode, then I'm calculating everything by getting the damage of the weapon or whatever you have in your hand or your hand or whatever it is. Because that would be a specific kind of interact mode. I don't care if it still clinks or anything, so I'm not going to go that heavy into it. But there we go. That did it. Can no longer damage machines. Now, if I come back into the config option and I change this to true and we save it and I do a quick reload, now I should be able to hit it. It looks like it actually it got rid of all the tinking sounds and everything too. So that's good.
It kind of nullifies everything. I like that. I got to clean my computer area. Holy crap. I, I got these, I got these chicken nuggies here. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of gross. Cause like I, I got them for lunch yesterday. Um, but I wasn't able to, there we go. And I can damage machines again. So that mod config is now in. Uh, yeah, but I, I never removed my plate or anything. So <laughs> they're just kind of sitting here, super stale. <laughs> Poor nuggies. Didn't even have a chance. And I want some chicken nuggies now. All right. Uh, create a mod option. The disable player inflicted damage to durability. Done. Man, we are we are banging out the easy ones. Okay, now the hard one. We are going to create an all new entity. This is going to be what we um what all the new logic is going to kind of attach to, and we're going to migrate things over as well. So first thing we need to do here is machine complete. Uh, flying, I guess I'll do the flying. I'm going to copy this, and we're going to paste it. I'm going to call this machine complete base. Anywhere where it says flying, we are going to change to base. Uh, this class is still fine. The hitbox I will leave for now. Because I think I'm going to redesign that as well. I, I wonder if, um, if I can create a collision box with this. I think that's what I would also need to do. Let's look at the Vintage Story website before we go any further. Uh, there's usually some really good information on Vintage Story on, on their uh, on the main website. So we'll explore it together here. Um, I'm just doing something quick. There we go. So here we go. We're at the Vintage Story site. Now what you could do is um, go to the wiki. And we are going to come down to Entity Property Overview and or Basic Entity. Okay, so it's the Property Overview. So this is all the stuff that we already have access to. So there's our hitbox size. Size of the hitbox either to hit the entity or to interact with it. Like that makes sense. What we are looking for is any kind of like collision. Um, block resistance, idle sounds, drops. Uh, I don't think we're gonna have anything here. Because all of this is client side. We don't want that necessarily server side. Only a couple things. So we don't have anything with collision. That sucks. I was hoping something would be built in, but I guess not. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I am going to leave our current shape renderer. Shape by type is going to be... The cut down model. I, I already created something off stream where it's just the chassis minus all the crazy like thrusters and bull crap. I got to figure out what I named it though. Shapes, entities, machines. Didn't I name it just the type dash base? I think I did. I think I did that. Um, everything else here is fine. I may find a new way to do all the texture mappings, but that'll be for another time. Passive physics, I think, is fine. If I'm going to do this, I should do it right. Everything should be a 1.0 for the passive physics. That way I can make the... Um, I think 1.0 is like basically what all the other entities are, so I can do the uh, movement correctly. 
uh, behaviors, name tag. Yeah, I got to make sure that these physics are the same for the server. Okay, so so that's pretty light right there. I'm going to have to create a new item to summon this. Hmm, I should just make a new admin item. I'll do that. So in order to do that, we have to go into item types, machine complete. I'm going to create a new state here. That new state is going to be called base. It's going to be ground storable. It's going to have the default. I'll make it the red icon because all of these are going to be going away eventually. Oh, you know what? I'll probably keep them. I will probably just set the actual spawning of them to be um to already have the modules in the item slots when it spawns that way it converts it to the machine that you're trying to admin spawn. All right, so now that we created that, I need to go into item machine which is right here. We're going to have to come down to where I spawn this stuff. Making sure I don't have the sprint system in here. Okay, okay, it's it's looking good. <laughs> okay, so complete machine thrown dash and then the type. Okay. So I need to go into the... Oh, God, where is it? I'm spawning an entity here. That entity is right here, Entity Machine Thrown, which means I need to come up to here. Where is it? Complete Thrown. I got to make sure I add base to here as well. Uh, we're going to scroll down, make sure there is a default. It's going to be red, my favorite color. Awesome. Now I can get into the Entity Machine Throne, which is right here. Okay, so Machine Complete plus that. So, so that should... That should work. We should be able to spawn this new item now. We're going to build. We're going to start. Ah, delicious. All right, so let's look at our items. We should have a red ball. We do not have a red ball. Oh, duh! I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't set the creative for it. Crap! Which one was it? Was it this? Nope. Was it this? Yep, it was this. So under Vicecraft, I'm going to copy, paste, dash, base is what I want. I'm going to save, I'm going to fireball it in, and do a quick reload. So we should, we should have a Pokeball with a, with a red middle. It's not going to have any localization done or anything, but it's going to be feeding off of new logic. Uh, we won't be able to really get in it and drive it because, again, it's not associated with anything. There it is. Our base machine. If I throw it, that's correct. 
explosions <laughs> all right so what what is it not liking here with this um request value base was not found in what exactly oh under machine types i forgot to put base in here um all right Oh, uh, base isn't going to be a usable word. Basic, maybe. Yeah. All right, so we got unknown. All right, so I have basic in there now. I got to change everything that I just did instead of base. It needs to be basic. That sucks. <laughs> oh well could be worse I don't think I need to do anything in here we'll just close that out uh, I will close that out I will close that out complete machine basic we will close that out Um, uh, scroll up to the top here make this basic save basic Save, which means I got to come into here. Basic save, build, and start. Yeah, delete it all and start from scratch, right? Yeah, let me let me let me just do that, Beanie <laughs> or not Beanie Bernardo. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let me just let me just do that. Hold on, I I gotta I gotta stand up to bend over to pull out all the code, right? <laughs> If I'm going to start from scratch. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't want to. I don't want to burn myself out. Boop. All right. Oh, that's right. Uh, I got a, <laughs> a complete machine the item. You know what? I'm going to just allow everything. I think I had specific things before because I was going to add like the C machines and that kind of stuff. But you know what? I'm not doing that anymore. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Bum ba da bum ba ba da bum. I like the snowy, um, like ravine. Hmm. It's like a glacier. There it is. It's called basic now. Boop. Hey, all right. It did not explode. <laughs> Did not destroy the game. Uh, the entity is indeed there. My little uh, test wolf, just kind of chilling. So something's going on with the rendering for it. You know what it probably is. Um, let's look at the let's look at the logs. Nicholas, hey, why does your stream start with VS Quest? By the way, it's because I do things with um, YouTube as well. So when I play different games, I try to put in whatever the game is. Really, it's because I'm la I've am i been lazy with my YouTube channel. Because <laughs> that's how a mod is called. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think there is a mod called VS Quest. Yeah, I should probably change that then. I didn't even make that connection. So yeah, I'll do it. How you doing, Nicholas? Nicholas. I am, I've been redesigning the uh, machines mod here. I don't see anything, any, any issues with the rendering. So it's got to be something in here. We're going to, we're going to shut down. I do want to change this. This should be basic. That doesn't fix our problem. Fixes my OCD though. So shape by type, right? I'm taking anything and I'm saying go to 
entities, which is correct, machines, which is correct, and then we do shape machine type, shape machine type, dash, oh, basic, <laughs> I forgot to change it here, I thought I did, guess not, I'm fine, how about you, saw your messages with Apache about it, yeah, he had a lot of good points, he had a lot of good points. I think I think Apache's going to be happy with the uh, rewrites. I I already disabled uh, durability loss while the machine is running. I put in a config option to be able to disable player damage completely, uh, like physically attacking the machines, uh, you know, breaking them. Um, I've disabled the sprint system. Uh, for now, I'm going to be keying the slowest version of everything like the speeds to something that's going to be faster than that sprint plus walk speed you know walk path speed so you don't have to use sprint um i am designing things to where you'll have a chassis so so the idea is you will have a pokeball there it is hey it's working you'll have your basic machine chassis it's not going to have... I'm, I'm going to be getting rid of the thrusters as well. I want to try and keep in touch with, like, the whole rune, you know, rust kind of powered things. Um, thrusters don't really fit that bill too much. Um, which means I may look at how, what, like, what the fuel is. The fuel may be some sort of, instead of, like, coal, maybe you process it differently to turn it into some kind of rust fuel to power the rust machine. Um, let's do this. So we sit in it. We're not going to be able to do anything with it because the uh, the logic, it, it doesn't have any movement logic right now. But this is our base machine. This is good. So, so my idea is you'll have your base machine, right? You won't be able to turn it on. You won't be able to store items in it, but you can lock it. You can also turn it back into an item if you want, right? So for the base machine. Um, and what I'm going to have, I'm going to have two slots in there. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to call them. I just put module and expansion. But one's going to be like your instruction circuit. So if you put like flying in or whatever, it's going to convert your machine to that type. And then you're going to have like the, the chassis version of that to where you can choose the, like, like Apache had mentioned, right? Like his good ideas. A darter, which turns it into a one-seater fast with no inventory. A carrier, which is going to be, you know, like medium speed. Uh, two seats, two inventory slots. And that inventory slot's going to be where you could put a chess in. And then you get nine slots, you know. So basically you could have 18 slots with that. And then the hauler, which is going to be slow, like the slowest version, right? Um, but still going to be faster than that that sprint or you know sprint plus the path, and that's going to have I, either eight or nine. So I mean it could potentially have up to eighty one um, you know item slots that it can haul. So it's a combination of these two items being socketed in that makes the machine you know have function. So, you know, and, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it to where it's going to be an item that you can, you know, something like this, right? Where you can, uh, you know, right click and it opens up, a, you know, a menu and then I can convert this chassis to I want it to be a darter now or, you know, whatever, whatever I pick. Right. Or if you're going to have to make those items and they'll be like separate items. But yeah. I had to I had to fix a lot of things. Like right now the the base mod is indeed working. Like I can get in, right? I can turn uh, turn the machine on. Fuel works. I could um Ha. Huh. It looks like it looks like I I may have broken my uh Oh, it says this is a basic machine now. That's interesting. Let's try and admin spawn a flying machine. Okay, flying machine. Oh, interesting. So this is a basic machine for whatever reason. Let's add some fuel. 
There we go. All my animations, like I fixed the mod in its current state, but yeah, this is this is dog crap slow. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be adjusting these speeds hardcore. <laughs> but you know the thrusters and stuff, like I don't know. It just it was cool at the time, but it just didn't make sense. I like, I mean it just it doesn't make sense to to have thrusters in like the rust powered stuff. Uh maybe an inventory for the machines where you can change out the attachment. Well, that's basically what that what that um that secondary attachment. I just called it the expansion. This is this is basically um because because the way I view inventory, if you can hold a lot of items, it needs to just move slower, right? And it's going to have less, you know, it's going to have less seating. So basically whatever you put in the expansion slot, if you put the hauler chip module whatever i call it in then it's going to transform the look right so it's going to look like a i'm gonna pull out a couple things it's probably just easiest to show based on the ground machines boop boop didn't mean to throw it over there so the the ground machine's a, a pretty good um pretty good idea here. So basically this would be kinda like the the carrier version, right? You'll have two seats. Um if you look at it like the storage it'll only be two, but it's gonna be like this storage here where I can get a chest right? I can get a couple chests here. Um and as I put things in, I gain inventory slots. So really, this is going to be the amount of inventory space that, if I can go over to it, this is going to have. And it's going to have two-player seating. Um, I'm going to have to redesign this because I do like the idea of having the chest be visible. So I may end up getting rid of like the th maybe a, a thruster, or maybe I can... I can, I don't know, maybe fit it to where it like sits on the bottom or I don't know. I'll find some way, maybe instead of the thrusters here, I don't know. I, I, I gotta, I gotta redesign this, but you know, so that's going to be that kind The darter. It's going to have no inventory slots. It's going to have this seat covered up probably. So it's going to be a one player thing, but it's going to be just like super fast, like the, the fastest, um, you know, and, and I'm going to have and I'm going to make like, you know, a version like this. Right. I like the big balloon on top, but maybe, you know, like this would be the, that kind again. Right. I can get rid of the propellers for whatever I'm going to do. Right. You have the two chests um, and then maybe it's going to be a combination of like this. Right. Like I'll have a place where you could display for like the hauler, you know, like different items. Like I, I, I'm, and then, you know, a darter version of this, and then for the C machine, you know, it's going to have those three versions, but depending on how you mix and match, you know, kind of, it, it's going to be similar to like the lantern system, right? No idea why I'm getting a team's call right now. Saturday. <laughs> why am I getting a team's call? Um, yeah, so like I'll put a, holy crap, they're wooden lanterns now? Whoa, not as bright as regular lanterns, but no glass required? Oh, wait, that's from Primitive Survival. Oh, thank you, Spear and Fang. That's a really good idea. Wooden lanterns. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, like, like I was saying, it's going to be similar to like this kind of system. Oh, wait, it's not a lantern I can use. I gotta fix that. All right, let's get one of the copper lanterns. You know, similar to like this kind of system, right? Like you socket an item. While that item is socketed, then it's gonna have those abilities. So something like that, like if you put the instruction circuit in, uh, one of these, I may, I may end up renaming these. Like this is the flying instruction circuit. I may just call it a flying circuit or flying module. So you'll start off with, um, where's the base? Yeah, you'll start off with this, right? Can't do much with it, but you could convert this back into an item because it doesn't have anything in it. And then if I open up the inventory spot, right? And then I put it in, then it's gonna transform its physical appearance to like the flying machine, right? 
or it would have to be a combination, right? So I'd have to put one module in, and then let's say this is the the kind of chassis I want with both of those in. Then it would, you know, puff up and smoke, and then it would turn into like this flying machine, right? Because it was the carrier, so it's the two seats with the inventory. You know, like it's going to look like the blimp version. It's going to have flight. That way you can mix and match things. While the machine is on, you won't be able to pull the items back out. So, so I'm trying to just redesign this to be like as dynamic as I can. And, and each one, right? Like the flying machines, all the versions are going to be the slowest. The ground machines, they're going to be, they're going to be faster. They're going to be definitely faster. Um, I am also going to fix the annoyance with, um, with the hovering. I know how to do it. I just never got around to it. Um, so they'll, they'll hover a lot, a lot better. Like right now there's a point directly in the center and that's all that's doing a check to see if there's a block underneath. And if there's a solid block or water underneath, if it's not air, then it lifts it up and that's how it does its hovering. But it's kind of sketchy when you're kind of cruising around because the hitbox is big. It's looking for that one point. So I need to just put points on each end, you know, like all around, um, that way it hovers a lot more uh, reliably. So, yep, we're going to have flying, we're going to have ground, and we're going to have water vehicles. The water vehicles are going to be the fastest. Like, they are going to be like lightning bolts going through. And you'll have the versions, too, right? Like, if you're if you're in a ocean world, which I am always going to play in, it's going to be worth it to, you know, instead of using the flying or the hover, if you want to, you know, move faster transport, you will, you'll want to use the water. And then you can use, like, maybe the water hauler, right? Load it up with, like, 81 item slots, you know, pack it up and just, you know, cruise it. You know, I want I want each one to have utility, right? Like, the water, since it's bound to that single plane of water, it should go the fastest. The hovering one, right, the ground machine, that one should be not as fast as the water, but still pretty fast. But, you know, you still have to deal with terrain and everything, but... You know, if I fix the hovering, that should be no problem. Shouldn't be getting stuck on trees or anything weird. You know, and then if you want, you know, flight, that's the ultimate cheat code, right? I can fly up in the air, avoid all obstacles, literally scale up mountains. It's going to be fast still, but the other options are going to be faster. So that, that's that's the idea. And eventually, eventually, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, or what it's going to look like. Maybe maybe I do, now that I'm thinking about it. I want to make a submarine. But oceans don't really have anything to explore yet, really. So there's no point in rushing a submarine version of a machine. You know, in my opinion. So, so that's what we're going to be working on. Oh, and eventually I'm going to have my pets uh, working fully, too. So... <laughs> yeah, right now I could turn them into items. And I can I can rename them like I'll call this guy not Charlie I'll I'll call him um Stanley the wolf so you'll be able to rename like name your pets and then you can spawn them <laughs> right? so this is the black wolf version Stanley the wolf they don't help you fight it's like a wow non combat pet <laughs> so I, I'm testing that too with my with my mods. <laughs> but uh yeah slash time set day and i got new graphics card coming in yeah i forgot about that until just now i ordered it yesterday I'm, I'm upgrading to a 4070 one of the the new ones that came out yeah i'm getting the um it was either MSI or Asus 4070. It's funny because like I'm looking at the reviews and like all these tech reviews are like, oh, it's it's not as powerful. I'm like, it sips power. Like, why is everyone crappy? Like, I got it because it sips power compared to all the other graphics cards. I pay my electric bill. I play a lot of video games. If I can get a lot of giddy up and it's an upgrade to my 2070 right now, like. And, it, you know, it's a $600 card. And then I'm looking at, like, the ones they're comparing it to, like the, oh, get the TI. I'm like, that's like $1,000 to $1,200 on Newegg. You know, it's like, what the hell? 
I, I don't understand people, you know, sometimes when they're when they're making reviews, they're like, well, I benchmarked it and it got like 64 frames per second. I'm like, did your monitor refresh at a faster rate? Do, you, do your eyes, do you have like bionic eyes that can that can see that kind of, you know, refresh rate? I'm like, come on, man. I'm getting a new monitor this week. Oh, nice. What 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 are you what are you getting? My my coworker got a curved monitor, which I at first I'm like, what the hell are you getting a curved monitor for? Until I saw it and I'm like, it's kinda cool. <laughs> I must admit, it's kinda cool. Oh, um, better chess, right? It's, isn't that what Apache said? Um the mod wasn't compatible with better chess. I should look at Spear and Fang's thing too. I should look at how I'm allowing chess to go in. Samsung curved monitor similar to the one I already have for the two monitors set up now. Ooh. My my monitors, the the one, my primary one's really good. This one was a budget monitor, but it's the same size and resolution. It's just the, the coloration's just a little different, but I'm kind of used to it now. Hey, Penguin. How's it going? One help the other man. <laughs> reviewers make people buy the gear, and brands make their gear, and the reviewers can round and round. Yeah, a lot of their stuff, because they, 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 they you know, they're like trash in the car. They're like NVIDIA lost touch. I'm like, y'all need to get over yourself. It's a 4070, right? Like, pretty decent. It's got plenty of giddy up. Like, who who's going to be running, you know, Cyberpunk on max settings and everything? That's like this, this decade's crisis game. Everyone benchmarks against that. And honestly, I've never played the game, nor would I ever want to watch it, right? Or play it. Is there any way to rewatch your stream somehow? Tend to be unable to watch them live. Uh, YouTube. I try to live stream on YouTube a lot. Um, I'm, I'm recording right now, so this will go on YouTube. YouTube was being weird. I wasn't able to simultaneously broadcast. Um, but you missed uh, only a couple of, well, you missed a couple of big things, I guess, for our modding. I will pull it up here, give you a little rundown. So I removed the whole sprint system. Um, I, I didn't fully remove it. I just have it disabled so I could maybe repurpose it to something else like, if I want to put like guns or weapons or something on here and you hold down the shoot button and it rapidly shoots like that would be what the sprint system would be used for. Maybe like some kind of barrier or something, you know, where you could hold it down, uh, which is a good idea. I removed durability drain um, on the machines while they're running. I also put in a config option to where people can disable uh, player damage. So I guess in a few servers, people had concerns with player griefing. So like right now, you know, like I can damage it um, if I go into the mod options and disable it. I'll do it fast here. It's going to be a new mod option. So we'll save it and I will reload. It's funny. I better this better work, because if not, this machine's going to explode in my face when I hit it. <laughs> But yeah, basically it's going to disable player damage. It will still take damage from monsters, um, you know, other things like that. But players will not be able to damage it. See, no sound. Durability doesn't go down at all. So. And we are starting to, um, we have a basic machine right now, a new machine. And we are going to be redesigning some things here. Um, why doesn't this look right? Oh, that's right. This is the original, this is the original style. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, what my biggest hurdle right now is coming up with a GUI that looks good. I've been playing with some options here. <laughs> I first had this, right? Because I, I was going to get rid of the whole locking system and having to have an ignition key because I didn't know how often people use it, really. Um, 
I don't know how I, I still don't know if I'm going to keep that system. It's a pain in the ass, like completely hundred percent because each each separate system I have to put in a bunch of like nested if statements to check to see like is this a machine that's owned? Does this machine's owner, you know, exist in the server, right? Is this is this player the one that's interacting with it? You know, if not, then you have to give, like, if it's the player that owns it, right, at that point, the if statement, then you put in your logic of what you want to do. Like, oh, yeah, you could press this button or you can mount, you know, you can hop inside of it or ride it or you could turn it on and off. And, you know, I'll press all the buttons and everything. Right. And then if it's locked right now, that's a whole separate nested if statement. And now I got to do a check to see, well, does it have an item in the item slot? You know that for the ignition key, does it have the ignition key item in there? Does that ignition key item have a, a player, you know, UUID attached to it? Is that a valid player UUID for the server? You know, and then it's like, OK, now if that item right and then it's like i have a bunch of if statements you know trailing all that because if false like i gotta do you know like lock people out and then i gotta say okay well if the key is the matching key then we can ignore the play you know and, and it's just this huge like paragraph of bullshit it's terrible it's terrible and i gotta tweak it certain ways each time because it, it's gonna be different logic different nested if statement logic if it's a you know if, if it's a if you're pressing a button or you're taking an item out of the inventory or you want to drive it, right? So you get into mount it and then propagating your controls, you know, the player controls to the machine, you know, like it's, it's a ridiculous hassle. It was a really neat idea, but I don't know, man, <laughs> you know, like I, it's still on the fence. If I even want to keep this whole locking system in and, and, and ownership system. Morning. Hey, Tech at Fox. How's it going? It's been a while. How how are things? I I hope I hope they are better, my friend. Hope they are better. Mm. And I, I'm doing really well. I got a bottle of Livewire orange flavor Mountain Dew. I am doing fantastic. It's complicated. Working a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I still, I still, you know, I think, I think about you every once in a while, hoping that things kind of ease up for you. So, so you, you're, you're an old vice's, uh, old vice's mind. Oh, hey, it's something, something unique here. Finally, finally, I got new emotes. Finally got new random emotes. <laughs> I love it. It's been a long time coming. Honestly, the the thing I, I got them from Fiverr, right? And trying to work with, I picked like you know one of the the top ranking people. You know, like, it was it was it was a challenge. <laughs> like ultimately, like I made some tweaks myself because like I don't know. It, you know, it's just little things. Like I don't want it to look like this. Like they they pretty much took like a picture of me with like my headset, even though I had a, a full paragraph description of what I wanted my image to look like and this and that. And I'm put I'm I'm giving them like, you know, all this information and they just like ignored it all. Like it was it was it was a mountainous task, but I got it. I got it in the end. <laughs> um Yeah. So I guess the next step before we really do anything else is I need to get this under control. First of all, we have a glitch here. Um, you can easily lose an item shift clicking. That disappeared forever. That disappeared forever. <laughs> so I need to I need to fix that, which is going to be a whole rewrite. Um, with 1.18, using other composers like it, they, it, the the base dialog boxes for item inventory changed. I know how to fix it. It's a lot of work. Um, but while I have, I have to rebuild it from scratch, uh, using the base compo uh, the base composer within the dialog box GUI, like class files that seems to fix it pretty well. Um, but I need to sort this out and I need to sort this out in a way to where it's going to be something that can be kind of propagated through so 
the dart version the carrier version and the hauler versions all need to have a similar setup just some things expanded some things you know condensed are you sure this isn't creative exclusive the glitch i am i am positive um here i'll, I'll pop it back here boop oh sorry oh my god it may be creative exclusive either way i rebuilt things i can't even shift click anymore because see, I'll, I'll hold on. Let me let me show you what I did. Game mode two. I fixed this in here. My rust stones mod. Boop. So, I I did all my GUIs the same. Um, see, you can shift click here, and it will automatically put it in. My my the base GUI Tyron definitely it's it's different. It's similar enough to where I didn't have errors coming up. Um, but it's different enough to where like whatever connections behind the scenes that were made or that were in place that allowed my current GUI to work um, no longer works. This used to erase items no matter what mode you were in. Oh, see? Oh, yeah. oh wait, I'm in creative, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, basically every vanilla container... If it's full and yeah, it's shift uh, in creative, yeah, it gets deleted. Yeah, that's true, but I did not have it wasn't full. There were empty slots. See, and it just it doesn't it doesn't do the the shift click. So it again, right? It's it's the same problem, just a different circumstance, right? Like the the problem is that your items will be gone forever. Um, it, it shouldn't happen whether you're in creative or not, right? Unless all the items or everything's full, you know, but this should go into here if i shift click it disappears i have a fix for that by rebuilding everything but i need to design this and the best part about this game that i love is the fact that one of the one of the best parts right is the fact that it's pretty much pixel perfect so i can sit here and i can copy and paste everything you know and then make a a, a um you know a new thing just through paint you know, resize or do whatever I need to do. And then I can use that as a template to quickly redesign this as I'm rebuilding the GUI. It's it's like the best way I found to do GUIs in this game. If I, if I was doing it with Minecraft, it would be a hellacious task. I'd have to give up my firstborn, you know, like <laughs> it just, it, it would have sucked. Not so much with this. So... I am going to use this version here. It's got the locking system. It's got the lantern. It's got the fuel, the power. I don't like the setup of this yet. I'm going to have to change over here a little bit because it's going to require two items, right? It's going to be a combination of two circuits. Um, but this side over here, we can, we can uh, fix. I am going to come over to the hauler. <laughs> there we go. I want these icons here, so I'm going to take my snipping tool. New. Oh, son of a bitch. I hate when I do that. New. There we go. That's good. Copy, minimize, paint.net. We're going to create a new layer. I'm going to paste. See, it's like pixel pixel perfect, pretty much. Um, storage box. I am going to clean this up a little bit. Delete these sides. cut paste it's going to probably be in line like this and we have one two three one two three copy paste stop doing that then yeah one two three so this is what the hauler version is going to look like on this side. It's going to have the most space. 
I'm just gonna fix this. Copy paste. Oops. Paste. Boop. Get rid of all that, and we'll get rid of this. Right, close enough is good enough. So spacing's gonna be similar to this. I could probably move it over just a little bit, try and size it right. So basically, as you as you go, right, I'll have all of this kind of like X'd out, you know, like grayed out, maybe put like red X's or something over it when it's the darter. When it's the carrier, it will have the top two. And then you'll be able to put your chests in like this. And then you'll gain the rows of inventory. And this right here would be the hauler. So I'm pretty much going to be doubling the amount of uh, inventory space. Because so far you can you can you can add quite a bit, right? <laughs> so you're gonna I, I think that's gonna be a pretty good, you know, pretty good thing to have having all that inventory space. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to do. So that that works on that side. I need a slot for the lantern. Uh, instruction circuit. I don't think I really want that. What I should do is probably copy this. All right, let's create a new layer, paste. So I'm gonna need two items in here, or two item slots. Something like that, right? All right, let's get rid of this. Whoops. Copy paste. So we'll have we'll have the instruction circuit on one side and then we'll have the chassis module. I I don't know what the hell I'm going to call it on the other side. Right? I'm not overcomplicating this, am I? <laughs> I gotta, I gotta stop and like ask myself that. Am I overcomplicating this again? So, so what would something like this look like? I could probably pump this down a bit. Kind of move it up, right? Instead of type, like one would be flying. Damn it. There we go. Copy paste. So maybe I could do circuit and then module or something. So it would be something like module. Damn it. There we go. Module colon space um, carrier. It is going to be probably around 10. Copy paste. And I'm gonna do this just as the example, right? So maybe instead of type, I could do um circuit colon flying. That will change depending on what you have down here. So what I could do is get rid of this. Copy paste. So that could be the circuit. Before I used to do GUIs like this, GUIs took me at least two or if not more times the amount of time. Because like I would do something what I thought it would look like and what I thought would look good. And it turns out that the space isn't quite right or something's too cramped or whatever. So as soon as I started doing this, it's like, as soon as you're done with your draft, you're good to go. Bold, right? I could have something like module. It probably has to be 12 point font. Yep. Right. So I could have something like this. 
move this up a little bit, copy paste, right? I think that looks okay. And what I can do for a little flair is I will copy one of these, paste, uh, we will put it kind of in the middle here. Uh, delete. Oh, shoot. No, what am I doing? There we go. That way, when you have a module in both, this will light up green. So maybe for now, I will put red in here as an in indication. So the idea is, if you don't have items in the slot, you could break it down into an item, um, you know, to fully put that base away. Yeah, to fully put this away. And it's going to be red, and then as soon as you put the right circuit in of any kind and the right module, then, and all of this would be blacked out, right? It'd be unavailable. And then as soon as you put both in, then all of this opens up. You'll be able to power it on. You'll be able to do whatever. I should probably make a second version of this where it's like the shutdown version. Maybe maybe I'll make this green. Since this is going to be the full GUI, because I'm going to have to have two GUIs that dynamically refresh based on what what items are in the item slots. I hate this section here. I don't know why I hate this section. <laughs> um fuel I you know, I don't know if it's just because like I I always want my fuel to be in the top right corner and I'm just used to that ever since I started doing the modding. And then I don't know how it's going to look like, you know, kind of reversing these. You know, I, I'm going to do it fast. Fuck it. Why not? Let's create a new layer. <laughs> Whatever. Copy, paste. Right, so locking system, first of all, would go over here. Just like that. Now I can copy, paste, right? The fuel system would come right up here, right? Something like that. And then the lantern, copy, paste. Oh, shoot, wrong thing. Uh, paste, there we go. You know what, maybe, maybe I, I think now that I'm moving it, I like this way a lot more. <laughs> you know what would be even better, now that I'm thinking about it? Hold on. <laughs> this is exactly why I do it this way. Exactly why. I'm living it. This would have this would have taken me a good maybe hour to to make you know this in the game, only to be like oh I gotta move things around now yeah I don't like that let me get rid of everything she gotta you know dial in the calculations, so I'm gonna make another. <laughs> what if it's the same background as like this, right? So <laughs> let me. Do a uh, copy paste here. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Delete. Delete. That way I can expand this, right? I can always say, you know what? Instead of a lantern, I want to make an ammo slot. I can shift the lantern over. I can have, you know, two items and bam, there's a lantern slot. You know, what if I want to make like a hitch or, you know, whatever bullsensical non-crap that I decide to just throw into the mod because someone gave me a good idea and I wanted to pursue it. I, I, I'm liking this a lot more. Um, 
I like the fact that this is now separate because it wasn't separate before. You know, just having it be like options and then, you know, you have to hover over. It, it's not as intuitive. Like, I feel like this way, right? Having individual labels, you know, like this is the locking system, not the fact that you have to hover over it. The icon doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's a circle. Who who would think that's a circle? You think padlock, but the problem is I can't have a padlock in here because that's something that's like innately coded into the game. And I don't want to make a whole secondary mod just to have a padlock icon. <laughs> and I'm not going to draw one out of pixels, you know, and do the whole like CTX weird, you know, like coloration and stuff like I'm doing over here. I'm not going to make a goddamn lock, right? Not only that, this would not go above a button. So the button would come first. Like it's, it's weird. It's weird. But I'm liking this, like this is the old setup. I'm, I'm definitely liking the new setup here. I, I got, I got a good feeling about this. I got a real good feeling. Yeah. Cause really the only thing that would change would be the storage boxes that, that would dynamically change in here. That and, of course, you know, the updated information based on the items that you put down here. I, I, I love the fact that I have, like, the lights and everything and, and the icons and stuff. This, this was a labor of love to do. You know, like the padlock, like it's locked now, it's unlocked. <laughs> So this is what we're going to do. We're going to have durability. We're going to have... Ah, oh, shoot. What should I use energy for? I've never had a good answer for that. What, what energy should be used for. Because you generate it. Hmm. Is energy even needed? <laughs> <laughs> shoot i don't know any anyone uh anyone have any ideas i'm i'm all ears <laughs> i'm all ears um so instead of module slot whoops did not mean to do that i meant to come up here so this would be the circuit uh, I'll do circuit slot right this would be I'll just call it module slot for now yeah I think that's good I think that's good combo these two. I'm, I'm definitely liking this new system more and more the more I'm thinking about it. Um, Alright, so I guess the next thing to do would be... Oh, how much time do I have? Hold on. <laughs> uh, share your thoughts... I'm gonna send Freya a quick text because I, if I, if I'm, if she's gonna be back in like 20 minutes or so, then I might as well do something else. I can stream. Thanks. All right. Um. Uh, what else should we? What else should we do? I damn. I am liking this. Energy. That's right. What the hell is energy going to be used for? Let me look at my notes. What did I plan to do with energy? Let's look at anything energy related. Oh my god. <laughs> like, can I spell it right? Let's take off case sensitivity. I don't have anything. I have no notes on what I was going to use energy for. Shoot. <laughs> um. 
God damn it. Energy, it feels like it's such a good idea, right? When you're when your car is running, right? Your your the running engine through the alternator, right, recharges your battery. What is energy going to be? Or is this something I'm trying to force? Fuel stored? Well, that I mean, that's the whole fuel system. It seems redundant that, you know, you got this energy, and then what, you use it as like a, a fuel like that? I, I had considered that, and I just, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a good fit. You, you know what I mean? Like, because fuel is already pretty easy to come by. Like this right here, for a stack of 29 of the, the machine pellets, right? This is going to run for 58 minutes straight. Like, not in-game time, but like our time. So you get pretty much an hour with 29 of having this continuously running like that you know it just it seems like you know a, a little drop of water in a pool <laughs> like i get the idea of like well emergency fuel but a stack of 64 Oop. two hours and eight minutes you know if you if you can't do whatever you need to do in that time i mean <laughs> you know what i you know what i mean what's what's the point of energy or again is it something that i'm forcing do do i even need an energy system right now so whatever the system would be it would have to do a conversion of points accumulated, right? Numbers accumulated amounts to pretty much it's it's almost like a currency, you could think of that. Where you would buy certain things. Like in my in my original mod, my first um mod for uh Minecraft, 1.12.2 version, right? Energy was how you applied the modules, right? The extra little chips to put into your flying machines to make them, you know, um, be able to go on the water, to be able to move faster, to be able to fly higher because I had like the Y restrictions, um, you know, to be able to play music, right? The radio, you know, to, it, it was basically the currency that you, but you used redstone instead of energy. So you would have to sacrifice so much redstone, and then you would use that redstone to fuel those changes. Yeah, past me, yeah. I'm like, I, well, the thing is, I was creating durability, and I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, like, while I'm at it, I'm just going to create energy. And as durability, as the engine runs, durability ticks down, and your energy ticks up. I just never came up with a good use for energy, and I've, I've, all this time... And I, I've gotten like no feedback. I, I've gotten people where it's like, well, what, what's, what's energy used for? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and then I get, I get nothing back, right? Like, oh, well, it should be used to, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is. You know, fuck it. Energy's gone. If I, if I can't find a, a use for energy, then it's just, it's going to go away for now. Uh, unless anyone can think of any reason to keep it. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> I can't, I can't think of, I can't think of a use. It sucks. It's a good system. I feel like it could be something someday. Like maybe, maybe in the future, if I make a, like a homing device. Maybe you could use your energy, a certain amount of energy, to um, be able to teleport back to whatever your beacon is. You know, like whatever your block beacon that you're registered to for a machine. But I don't know if that's too cheaty or, you know, I don't know. Kind of, kind of feels very cheaty. Because then I could just go somewhere, right? load up a bunch of stuff and then basically use a hearthstone to have my machine just teleport back that that's not i guess that's not a good idea 
I don't know how I would do anything with like a barrier, you know, where you can have a protective barrier around you. That would have to be like the sprint system, right? I'd have to have something like that where when sprints toggled, it has this other hitbox that extends around. Um, that hitbox, like I would also have to have some kind of like visual look to it, which would probably be box shaped, which sucks. And then while you have that button down, it can shield you from attacks. But then again, you're not really taking attacks, right? Like at the most, drifters throw stones at you. Whoa. <laughs> you know, hold the phone. So something like that would be useless. Mm. It's rather unfortunate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. Energy is going away. I can't come up with anything. I'm shooting myself down every step of the way. All right, energy. Uh, we'll get rid of it here. We'll get rid of it here. Get rid of it here. Let me save. I'm going to rebuild. It's going to show me where my errors are. There it is. Oh. Requires restarting the application. That's interesting. Oh, it went away. Oh, here we go. Okay. This is what I was looking for. I have to get rid of it here, get rid of it here, and get rid of it here. I think that's all I have to do. That right there effectively kills the system without completely removing it. Now, all I have to do is just to re-enable it, those six places I commented out, I would just have to do a, you know, just uncomment those out and then bam, energy system is back in the game. It's back, baby. I'm going to put a note to myself. I will do a similar thing for the turbo system. Let's get rid of that. Uh, energy system based. Note systems and active was commented out from the machine uh, setup slash entity machine. I should add that to both. Just a little note to myself, right? When I come back to it, bam. Let's see what it looks like now. It's going to just be an empty space. Start. It begins, it senses, it remembers all that came before. This uh, really gets you pumped loading into the game, huh? Taste and smell, grand inventions, glimmers in the soil, burning sparks, molded forms, simple tools. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, it's going to be all right. It's going to change here. Hold on. I got to spawn a new item because it has the watched attributes still. Whoops. Did not mean to place it. There we go. So it's never going to accumulate. I'm going to have to prune this out of the GUI, but the system is shut down. It's going to be zero now and forever just to test it. Turn it on. Technically running. So every 15 seconds, it's supposed to generate one tick. As long as it doesn't do that, we are set. While that is running, I guess I could come over here. Hmm. This would basically be um, blacked out, right? I could leave a space. Circuit flying module carrier. I guess I guess that's fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think this is I'm I'm feeling much better about this. I, I maybe maybe I didn't like the original because it felt too like copy and paste. Know what I mean? That was the trimmed down version. 
I'm glad I'm not doing that. I'm going to drag this towards the bottom. All the unused ones I'm going to drag towards the bottom. Or just drag this up. There we go. Sweet. All right, so this is this is what we're looking at. I'm going to save. Oh, I need to create a, a secondary version of this now. So temporarily, what I'm going to do is kind of mold everything down. I'm going to select everything, do a copy. Now I'm going to undo everything I did, all the merges, create a new, I'm going to paste it in, create another new, paste it in. So this one is going to be without modules. Without the circuit and the module, this will be red as an indication. I'm thinking of doing something like this. Copy paste, right? Because it's going to get rid of all of that. Yeah, nice, T.Y., have fun. Oh, uh, good news. I have until I have until 2. It's only 1130. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo. <laughs> Old Vice is going to mod today. <laughs> Be able to get a lot done. Right, something like this. Um, I suppose if I want to really make it pretty, I could do this. Yeah. Uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Kind of bring this all the way up. Try and make it look halfway decent. That's close enough to get the general idea of what it's going to look like. Um, I could have red text in here, so let's get some red text. And I can say um, insert circuit and module items to use machine um, I could have that and what I can do as well why not have a button right I can have a I'm going to create a new layer, right? I'm going to paste this in. This thing can be kind of in the middle. And what I can do is I can say um, convert to item. Right? Copy paste. Whoops. Uh, copy paste. Maybe like shift it up a little bit. I could probably center it. Right. So so that would make sense, right? This would be if you had no items in these slots. You would still have durability info. Because it's going to it's going to be a static set amount of durability. There's no upgrades or anything. It is what it is. Um, it's going to be like the health of the item, which means durability doesn't have to be as high as it is. Now that I don't have to account for um, anything, I could have durability be like, you know, 20 or 50 points instead of 250. Since the only time you're taking durability damage is if you actually attack it yourself or if creatures attack it. 
So let's um, change this. Let's make um, lower durability max to maybe 40 slash 50 question mark instead of 250. There we go. So nothing's in there. You got your durability in percent. I do like the conversion of percent that I did, and that bar will go down. Um, you'll have your circuit information, and you'll have your module information. You'll have the two items down here. This will be red until both items are in there. Um, it's going to stay red once it opens up. Or, or if you if you want and you're like, okay, I want to just convert this into an item, you can remove these items, right? It's going to deactivate your machine. It's going to turn it back into the base. You'll be able to click this button. Maybe it turns back into like the either this, like maybe I'll make it like a crate or maybe like a Pokeball, an item that you can then pick up. And then you'll be able to throw it again. Right? And then do whatever but at least you can kind of clean up your machines they're not like permanent forever things I'm, I'm liking that i'm liking that hmm. all right i think i think we got it right you put the two items in bam it unlocks all this. Depending on your module, maybe I'll make one more of these. We're going to duplicate this. So the carrier would be something like this. You know, it would look prettier with the right background. But you would still have your storage box. I could label this um, carrier. I could relabel this hauler. I could duplicate this. I will name this the darter. Right? So that would be the darter. You would have no storage. The carrier, you would have that storage, and then the hauler, you would have all of it. And that would just dynamically kind of change, depending on your module. And that would be act deactivated. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. Storage box, I could put, like, none. <laughs> right? Maybe I could just have text there. I'll just say, like... Uh, Let's get some text here. Uh, whoops, did not mean to do it there. Okay. None. <laughs> you know what I could do instead of doing that? Let's um. Do... Yeah, you know what? That's fine. I think I think people would get the gist, right? Just none. Just so I don't get complaints, right? I, I, I probably still will where people are like, oh no, my machine doesn't have any storage boxes. It's like, yeah, because you're using the darter, you know, module. <laughs> That's why. Are you going to have storage visuals like chess hanging off the side? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I'm going to have to redesign my machines. I wanted to anyways. That's why I stripped everything down. I feel like um, this part here with the turning gears and everything, and I do I do like the little smokestack, although I may, I may not have a smokestack anymore, or if I do, maybe I'll make it green or that, that teal for the uh you know the the um rift stuff but i want to get rid of thrusters because that doesn't really fit the theme of the game 
um, and I want to replace it with, you know, something else. Uh, everything, this base chassis is going to be, you know. Oh, I placed that item down. I, I won't be able to get it. Damn it. It's kind of annoying me that I can't get that. Um, but basically, as you add attachments, right, it's going to transform into the different things. The hauler is going to be, this is the closest, um, like, visual, right? So basically, this is a ground machine. You'll have three versions. You'll have one where it's like a single seat. I'll probably have something here, right, covering this up. Um, again, it's not going to be thrusters. It'll be something else, whatever else I come up with. Maybe it is a kind of thruster, but without propellers or I don't know. Something using the rift sparkly energy instead of fire. Um, but you'll have the darter version, which again, right, it's not going to have the back seat. Only one person can sit at it at a time super fast. And then you'll have like the carrier version, which it'll be a two seater. Um, I'll have, since it has two chests, it's going to be similar to this, right? I got to find a place to visually put the chests. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if these are going to get a little bigger or not. You know, like I, I have to redesign it, but, you know, it's still going to, you know, you'll be able to see the chests that you put on there, you know, just like you, you do here. And of course, this is the hauler version, right? The hauler is a one seater, right? The back seat is where, you know, this setup is. And then, you know, you have the items that dynamically change. So, for instance, I think I have like, um, what do I have? Barrels that you can use, right? I think you can use barrels. Um, you can use various chests, like you can use, um, I think you probably could use that. Um, oh, what was the one thing, right? The little condenser you can have in there and based on whatever you put in, it's going to change the appearance, right? Let's put a barrel there. So this, this is kind of what I want. I don't know how it's going to look on everything, but I, I am going to keep it similar, right? And this is just the, the visual. You'll still get all of your slots. It's going to be, uh, I guess, eight slots instead of nine. Maybe I'll make it nine slots or ten. I don't know. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do something here, but for now it looks like it's eight. Maybe I'll keep it eight. 8 times 4 is 32, so haulers will have 64 item slots, which I think is pretty, pretty awesome, right? Like, that should be plenty of uh, item slots for anything anyone wants to do for a hauler. Um, this will, it'll only have two rows, right? You know, this would be like the carrier, right? You would have 16 slots. And then the darter, of course, would just have nothing because it's the fastest, right? That's the penalty for it. But yeah, that's that's going to be the problem, right? So something like this, how do I have like eight, you know? Do, so my thought is, do these machines get a little bigger to accommodate everything I want, you know, visually? Which means that, you know, the, the machines here, you know, does this top blimp part get bigger to accommodate something like this, you know, right? The hauler version of the flying machine. It's got to be able to find like all these items, right? And these items should be identical size right like this this and this are the same size you know looking at them from the uh, same angle right i think so anyways yeah it looks around the same so yeah i don't know it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a labor of love <laughs> but that is the ultimate goal I just don't know what something like that looks like. You know, the hauler has eight item slots. Or instead of having that many item slots, do I have it just four item slots and then double the amount of space? You know, so for instance, um, ooh, this is, this is actually a good idea. So imagine, you know, this is the carrier version, right? It's got one extra chest slot, which would double right it would be 16 slots at that point the hauler i could keep this the same four i think is plenty without it being too busy and then you'll have like 64 slots 
you know, here instead of the 32, right? So it would be easier to put one item in than multiple. Because I could fit, like, maybe a chest. Like, I could rework something in the front. Or maybe it's something, like, in the back. Like, right, maybe the license plate goes down. Or, I don't know, somewhere where I where I can store it. To where it, you know, even this looks kind of like a, you know, a slot. I could gut this out. And then I could extend this back a little. And then I can have it to where, you know, whatever item you put in kind of sits in that cavity and will be displayed. Uh, you ever see the Tommy Knocker Stephen King base TV series? People are making things powered by Green Glow. That is what I'm reminded of in VS. You know, it sounds really familiar, Tommy Knockers. I probably have seen it, but I've probably seen it a long time ago. Uh, my mom was really into Stephen King. I, I remember uh, what was it, Rose Red, or what? You know, the one where it's like the people are in the the haunted house kind of thing. I don't know. So yeah, the yeah. So I I want visual. I want dynamic visual. You know differences, and also I am going to keep the um. The detailing kit system. So you know you'll be able to. You'll be able to change the textures of these. So. You know, if I want something like, uh, I don't know, let's make it bald cypress. The metal, where's my bismuth? Oh, I got to fix it. <laughs> oh, see, this is why I have to do a rewrite of all the stuff. It does not like the custom composers that I have made. So I'm, I'll, I'll end up fixing that anyways when I redo all the GUIs. So for now, I guess I could just do uh, the wood to show as an example. But I, I want these to be customizable, right? I want you to have the different wood appearance or whatever appearance. Make it look like whatever you want. Based on the module you have, you know, that changes the, the model of it, which just puts those textures back on. You know, and depending on what, you know, the combination of the two items, it will pull the appropriate model for you. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go back here. Let's pull up. Nice craft machines. I'll just do the panel. Uh, we'll do purple heart. Oh, I can't even apply it. Requested channel, not active. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can't apply it. I just, I don't own that. That's right. I never sat in this to own it. It says at the top, owner, no owner. So you'll be able to still customize things. It'll just have different, uh, you know, the different appearances. It's going to take some work. I don't know what I want instead of thrusters. It, it seemed like it'd be kind of cheap to keep the the thruster as is and just have like green particles coming out i'm not sure if i'm gonna have a smokestack i don't know if we look at some of the stuff in game right what is it the um the rift ward Let's see what this does so you got the rift ward and um Right, let's grab a temporal gear. Right, I should be able to use it. There we go, out of power. Charge for 14 days. This shit is fucking loud. Holy crap. But you know, this is the kind of technology that I want. Blame the coder, right? Holy shit. Fucking loud. But this is what I want my stuff to be kind of powered like. Now, you won't have to use a temporal gear, per se, to make your fuel. But instead of using, like, charcoal, like you currently are, I, you know, I'm going to be changing that up. Machine pellets are going to look a little different. I want it to be kind of, like, rust-oriented. You know, I just... that That's why I'm, like, these gears here, the way I have them animated and turning... I like that, you know, like that, that kind of, that feels like it fits the game more. 
The thrusters, not so much, you know, but I do want it to make sense, right? Like, these thrusters serve the purpose of, like, propelling you forward. So I want a similar effect, right? Like, if not the thruster, then what? I, I don't know. I am open to ideas to make it more in tune with the game's theme. But, you know, all these, right? Like, the thrusters, like, they, they work for hovering, but, you know, again, I want rust theme. Yeah, let's quiet that up. I don't know. Like, teleporter, too, right? That'd be a similar thing. Better, yeah. I mean, look at some of this stuff. This stuff's pretty cool. get rid of all this yeah look at that shit base return teleporter this this is the kind of stuff that I'm that I'm talking about right like that looks cool look at that oh this is the new teleporter Look at that. This is, what, this is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Are you going to add any Jonas parts? Oh, hell yeah, I am. <laughs> you know it. You know I'm going to add those. I love those things. Yeah, see, oh, and these, are, these must be just all the individual pieces. Yeah. You know, that, yeah, all the individual pieces that would, like, make this up. New player built teleporter. Yeah. Pretty freaking cool, huh? <laughs> but this this is the kind of technology I want my machines to be like. You know, weird little nifty things, you know, like... I expected those to spin for some reason. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know. Just something. It, it's it's got it's got a it, man. This looks really freaking cool. Really freaking cool. And what about you? Oh shit! <laughs> if I right click on you, I guess you bring me back to spawn. But still, this looks really cool as well. If I stand on it, yeah, it doesn't do anything. The hitbox of this is only this bottom part. Definitely neat. But yeah. That's an imaginative TP mod. Yeah, right? That, that That's my goal. I need I need my machines, right? to look like this but i want to keep them kind of similar right like uh time set day so i like the control panel that i have here it's it's nice like the little key for like the ignition and you know being able to see like your fuel up here and get a, like a rough calculation on this display i mean it, it may feel a little more high tech but what are you going to do right like something like this it's too You know, there, there's no good heads-up display for the way the Rust system is. So I think I'm stuck with doing this, right? You know, if something's locked, unlocked, if it's powered on or off, like it's pretty clear, right? The screen shuts off, goes gray. All your buttons don't light up anymore. I just, I don't know how to convert something that's awesome like this into something that's going to be worth it unless people don't care about the display system here you know if no one really uses it it was like i thought it was neat like you look at something like this i could tell that it's still powered on right the lights are on the display is on this is the kind of coal that i have in here this is how much fuel i have right if i take it out it changes so you know half fuel in my item stack right like i you know it's locked if i have a key in there 
There, I'll just grab one, random one. Oop. Right, if the key's in the item slot, it actually shows up there. You know, the actual, like, model of the key. You know, so a lot of, lot of visual cues as to... Oh, do my legs clip through that key? No, okay, good. You know what I mean? Like, trying to... I don't know. Maybe I have to just redesign the back. I don't know. I'm open to suggestions, definitely. To make it feel more rust, you know, rust-like. Rust technology. Maybe, maybe I ditch the entire back and I just start over. You know, maybe using this as a, as a model reference or maybe this. Who knows? Maybe even this, right? I think, I think I would use this or maybe, maybe different pieces. Start placing this stuff here, right? Cause like I can like copy paste some of this stuff directly to my model. No. I just don't see anything here that would like help you fly, right? Help you levitate, push you forward. Un ooh, ooh, unless I get something like this item here, right? Uh this. And then I can have it to where like and you know, like little energy pellets go off of it to where it's like little poles that, you know, maybe I don't know, maybe something like that. So it's not a big old freaking can thruster with a spinning with a spinning fan, and then somehow fire comes out the back. I I do like this. I could probably piece these together to make something cool. That'll save me time. I could cut this glass out. And then I can like insert this like into the glass. And then maybe have this attach onto the side break these apart and use one of these to like maybe pierce through the center and have it spin one way while the other thing spins in like an opposite direction. And then have that be maybe the front. Maybe that could be the new thruster and then I can get rid of the cans and then I can copy paste that mini model wherever I need it. Yeah. Because I like this, but I don't know. It's not good enough. I'm keeping the license plate regardless. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to... Next thing I'm going to do is rebuild the GUI. Um, it's going to be a pain in the ass, but it'll be good. Something like an opening claw that spins and glows green orbs yeah you know something like that something like how how this does it right um god not that fucking loud but you know something that like spins right opens up you know something like that so while this is on right my gears will spin you know like whatever crazy little thing i make you know like you know it'll have like little spinning things maybe something opens up as it kind of spins around I don't know. I'll fi I'll figure something out. That that's gonna take some R and D, right? Um, as long as I can get the basic chassis looking good, maybe put some of those Jonas lamps, Jonas parts in there. Um, I love these things, the old style tubes, right? Totally place some of this stuff. Put this like directly into the model. Ah, oh, be so cool. Burp, burp. <laughs> but all right, I've been live streaming for like almost three hours. I got to pee. We're going to take a quick break. We are going to look majestically at the sky and all the bull crap everywhere. All these broken pieces that are going away now. All right. And I will be back in like maybe three to five minutes.
Oh yeah, <laughs> we are back. I got a Powerade, a Citrus Peach Powerade. It's hydrate. Mmm. Oh man, it's good. Good stuff, Bernardo. Welcome back. Yeah, thank you, man. Moobot, liking the stream. You know, I can't even make fun of Moobot. Like I had typed that in years ago. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clear everything out here. We are going to focus on this. Okay, so there's there's actually gonna be a lot of things I have to do. Um. God, where to start? Where to start? I guess the first place to start is with some of the main machine logic. So I have entity mountable seat, which also uses entity mountable. And then I have entity machine. Maybe I should... I like Entity Machine. I guess I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that. Maybe I should make one that says Entity Machine Base. Yep. Maybe I will do that. All right, so I'm going to have to shut this down. Copy paste. Entity machine basic. Hmm. Copy all this. Case sensitivity. Anywhere it says entity machine, we'll do entity machine basic. Only six occurrences. That's what I thought. Uh, which also means that I have to register this new file. So let's go to the registry. Here we go, entity machine. I'm gonna make this entity machine basic. Entity machine basic. Uh, which also means I need to change my machine setup. Because I'm taking in entity machine here. What I really should take in is just entity. Yeah, that should just be entity. Which means I have to change everything else here. Um, I could do this as... Entity machine. I could do something like this to kind of patch it so I don't have to change everything. No, not doing it. I'm going to do it right if I do it. So basically, I have to go into each one of these subsystems and then change, change entity machine to just plain old entity. I'm going to have to add the reference in each one of them. <laughs> this is bullshit. Why did I make it so specific at the time? There, there was no reason for me making it this specific. No reason. All right. <clears throat> Entity machine core system name. Let's 
is going to be entity show potential fix. This is going to be just entity. That means this is going to be. I'll make this just entity as well, which means in here, make this entity. Save. This is bullshit. <laughs> I hate past vice. I'm doing I'm so what I'm doing here is um for whatever reason in my infinite wisdom when I first put in the system, I'm like, yeah, everything should piggyback off entity machine. So I'll use that as the base class file to take as an argument in all these different sub like sections that I'm doing. Well, I could have just used entity. It would have been more dynamic. I wouldn't have this problem I'm having right now. Would have worked just as fine. I think for mo the most part, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I can fix stuff like this at the bottom. I mean, that or what I could also... Um, could also change uh, entity machine to just being um I don't know. This is this is a tough one. How how do I want to unravel this? I could do maybe entity machine complete for a name and then use that. Yeah, stop being so specific, especially in programming vice. I'm gonna undo what I did. <laughs> I don't, I don't like what I'm doing right now. Oh, funny, huh? There we go. So that pretty much undid everything that I just did. What I could do is I'm going to instead. This is pretty much a copy paste of. I, I wanted to do something to preserve the old code. So I'm going to put just a couple Z's here in the beginning. I'm going to rename it. This is going to be a backup of my original entity machine. I'm just going to convert this, right? I'm going to say uh, we're, we'll rename this complete. Yes, change all the references. See, now it does it automatically for me, right? Entity machine complete just populated here. Touched everything. Yep, everything here. We're going to save. So here we are. I'm going to make sure that this is still... Yep, entity machine complete. Good. Now let's go into here. We're going to have to do a couple things. The storage system. We're going to have our storage slots. We have the light inventory slot. We are also going to need two more slots. We are going to need, paste, paste, the, okay, so what am I going to call these things? Maybe a circuit slot, circuit inventory. And then the other one, do I want to call it a module? Module inventory slot? It's going to be our um, the reference to these two slots here that you're going to have to populate to get a working machine. Right there. I mean, circuit module, I, it sounds good. Maybe some kind of assembly. Um, God, I don't know. Um, Let's look at the thesaurus. <laughs> Before I go full bore, right? Connecting, joining, gathering, no. So instead of assembly, let's look at module. With bore caliber, yeah, that sucks. All right, let's look up circuit. Course, lap, root, tor, area, cycle, compass, None of these are really orbit, now twirl, whirl, range, perimeter. None of these are really what I'm looking for. 
fuck it. You know what? The one thing's going to be called a circuit. The other thing's going to be called a module. Or maybe some kind of chassis, like a chassis module. Instruction circuit chassis module. All right. So it's going to be a circuit inventory slot, module inventory slot. We are going to have to number these things. I will paste this in twice. Um, so we will do a, the circuit will come first. The module will come next. The item slots for these, don't I have something in here? Here we go. Ew, I did this in a very shitty way. <laughs> So slots 1 through 32 are storage slots. All this has to change. Shit. <laughs> right? Damn it. Because 64 slots is going to be the new maximum. So let's, I guess let's change it here. So we'll do uh, 64 which means 65 has to be the new lamp slot. Um, 66 will be... Oh, I was going to put an item display system in. Then 67 would be an ammo slot. Um, 68. Maybe I'll do 68. And 69, and 70, 71, 72 for the ignition key. You know what? The ignition key could go up here. These slots should, I should rearrange this while I'm here. So I should do something like this, right? So slot zero is going to be my fuel slot. Slots one through 64 are going to be storage slots. Is 64 slots big enough for the hauler? Is that, like, worth it, you know? Should it be more? Should it be less? What, what, are, what are people thinking here? 64 inventory slots for the hauler. Probably 16 slots for the carrier. And then no slots for the darter. Does that sound like a, a fair exchange for a machine? Because I'm thinking so, right? That should be good. Maybe. Oh, I'm probably not going to get it. I'm probably not going to get an answer. Uh, which is fine. So I could do something like 65, 66, 67, and 68, right, for the uh, storage boxes. No idea. Yeah, see, this is this is the hard part, right? Because everyone's got their own opinions on things. So let's uh, let's load up the game again. So I need to put complete here. I got to put complete for everything. Complete. 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 All right, let's run the game. Hopefully I didn't completely break it, which it looks like I got some errors. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the copy. So I'm just going to comment this out. We got another error down here to which I'm going to comment that out. I'm going to return an empty string. There we go. Build success. Because my thought is like Apache gave me some really good, uh, really good, I guess, direction, right? We could say but really, really good feedback. Um, and he was mentioning that, you know, they were when they were using the haulers, like, it was great. They had so much space. 
you know, so I'm effectively doubling the space, you know. 64 slots is pretty substantial. Ah, uh, did you forget mapping? Yeah, I probably forgot mapping. <laughs> oh, man. A team machine complete. Did you forget to register a mapping? I probably did. Cancel. What is it even trying to do? Let's close that out. I know exactly where to go. Right in here. Oh, it should be... It should be mapped. I'm going to unmap that. Oh, I forgot to do that. <laughs> team machine complete. It never changed the string. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's close out. Let's rebuild. And let's start back up. Yeah, that, that would do it. <laughs> Shush bot. <laughs> My opinion does not count because you know me. I would tell you to put a draconic chest in there. Yeah. I want a 500, you know, 54 slot mega chest. <laughs> I can't blame you, though. All right. All right, so we're back in. I'm going to have to spawn all the items again, all the machines. For now, I will spawn the hauler and an original machine. So the hauler. Okay, good. Didn't explode. So this is what we're looking at, right? Inventory slots, you'll put your four chests or whatever you want the appearance of in. Boom, 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 boom. So this is what people like right now. This is what they're used to. This would be doubled. <laughs> so I feel like that... Or, I mean, is that too much space? Am I, am I being too overzealous with it is 64 slots too many slots is that too cheaty you know for for any hauler type i want access to ae2 from the dashboard please yeah i i want god mode all infinitely throughout all eternity i want every item and anything that could be possessed right <laughs> Am I am I getting it right? <laughs> oh. Again, nothing wrong with it. Just different play style, right? So imagine I'm going to take a screenshot of this. I'm going to get rid of that error because that is not valid anymore. I'm going to do a copy. Let's open up paint. Make a new tab. Paste. So basically, my machines are going to look like this. Yes. Uh, copy paste. Boop. And then. Yeah, copy all of this. Copy, paste. Whoops. There we go. So basically, this would be the new hauler amount of space. Is that too much space? <laughs> <laughs> because right the the rub is i have to find a way to to make something not as overpowered as something else right so if the hauler goes slower but you get this many inventory spaces is that going to be something where you never want to use the darter you know just because the the, the payoff is so extreme you know Or was it good with the 32? And then I can have maybe 8 and then the 32. Because now that, now that I'm looking at it, that is fucking ridiculous having that much space. 
Maybe 64 was not. Maybe that was not a good number. <laughs> right? Maybe, uh... <laughs> Maybe it's not a good number. <coughs> I think that's too extreme. I don't like it. Again, copy paste, right? This saved me so much time, you know, because I would have started implementing this system. I would have seen how many inventory slots it would have been. And I would have been like, this is a red flag. Having this much space, no one's going to use the carrier ever. No one's going to use, you know, the darter ever because this is too overpowered right here. So, do you know what that means? We come back into the storage system. Instead of 1 to 64, this will be 1 to 32. This will be 33. 34. 35. 36. The ignition key can be 38. I'll do 38. Or I'll do 39 for the ignition key. Uh, we would have the circuit slot. And then we would have the module slot. I just had a great idea. Why would I need two slots doing the same thing? Oh shit. I got I got a I got a pretty good idea here. Um What if let's pull up um Let's pull this up. So instead of these two slots, why don't I make a singular item? And then that item could have two options in it. One would be you could choose, just like I do with the paint job, right? You could choose the the circuit or the instruction circuit or whatever, however I however I color it as. You could change, you can make it like a flying hauler, right? And then when you confirm, you know, it locks that item in. And then you can then use the combination item that I have there, put it in a single item slot, and then it unlocks everything, right? So it's it's like it's like its own um spark or um you, you know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at? Does it make sense? Am I just being crazy? So instead of both of these We would have the singular sugar snaps. There we go. So it would be similar to what it was before. Let me grab this here. Paste it here. We'll just call it circuit module, right? So it's a single point. When it's in, I can have this kind of light up, you know, hooray, fun. Let me copy this. Copy, come to the top, paste, right? A single dynamic item. Question is, when you when you accept it, would I allow you to create like to change it to whatever you want, or should I have it to where once you once you create it, it's finalized? Shoot. I don't know. I don't even have to I don't even have to have a uh, GUI or anything. 
All right, let's let's hop in the game. Let's take a look. A single item. So basically, you would take something like your flying instruction circuit, complex interface that gives machines the ability of aerial travel, right? Easy. And then you would take a... We'll just use the name changer. This is the carrier, you know, circuit, right? And then you can go in a crafting table, combine those two, right, into the assembly, right? Whatever the the chassis assembly is or whatever the hell I call it. And then that single item that you just made has, it's a carrier machine module that you can put into any, any base machine, right? Any basic machine. I'll be able to socket it in and it will transform that machine into it. And then if I'm like, no, I want to take it out and do something else, I can, you know, just remove it, right? Place the item in, right? And then put the other item of the C darter, you know, for instance, because now I want the machine to do that. It will transform into the C darter, in which case I can then get in. It'll have all the mobility and everything, but it's a single item instead of this dual item system. Fuck yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Dunzo. So fuel slot, fuel storage, fuel bo or storage boxes. Uh, what the hell am I going to call this thing? An, as an assembly? It, it would be technically like an assembly at that point, right? A machine assembly. Assembly slot. I can get rid of that. The ignition key. Okay, so this would be 37. This would be 38. The lamp would be 39. And then I can make this one 40. And then this one could be 41. They're work in progress things anyways. Not sure if I'll ever use them. Not bad. Not bad. Um, this means we have to make a new item, which is fine. We will have to come up with a visual for this new item, which again is fine. I need to, I guess I'll work from the inventory out because this is going to have to change. I should probably, I'm going to make some changes here, migrate some of this data. Pop this out. This should not really be called right here. I don't, I don't need these. What I should do is uh, max slots entity ID. I'll, I'll nest it. I'll nest these into here. So circuit inventory slot. It's no longer called a circuit. It's going to be assembly inventory slot. Or inventory slot assembly inventory slot. light I don't need the module anymore right because I could get rid of those could be a set and a get right so I could come down here and I can say uh, this dot Inventory slot assembly equals, uh, I said the assembly was going to be 37 for its ID. This dot, inventory slot would be, what, 39 for the lamp? I should probably just put the uh, ignition key in here. Right, ignition key. would be right there because it doesn't make sense to define these things outside of the main storage system the main storage system should be holding all this data and then what i should be doing over here is calling and making references to things here 
right? Since this is where the map is anyways. I could probably change this up. I could do a um, max slots, right, set. I could probably... Do I need to do a set and a get? Because can I do something like um, this? Do um, like one or something? Nah, I, I'm not. I'm not even gonna bother. It's not anything that I use right now. I'm gonna keep set get with it. I'm going to normalize. I'm going to have this for all of these. Boop, boop, boop. I'm not going to do it with the storage slots just because that's too, it's, it's a range. I can do it for the storage boxes, however. I could do, um, Storage box one, storage box two, storage box three, and storage box four. This would be 36, 35, 34, 33. Instead of a lamp slot, I should name it the same here. It is indeed a light slot. It just happens to house only lamps right now. I need to make the variables here, the set and the get variables, one, two, three, four. I can just copy this, paste one, paste two, paste three, and paste four. There, migrate the data into here. Um, now I need to create some new item slots. So let's do that. Copy, paste. Oh, I can't do it while the game is running, of course. So instead of slot light input, I could do item slot input. Um, assembly. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Copy this name. I don't need input. I don't know why the hell I put input in there. I could just do item slot assembly change all of this, right? Item slot assembly. Item slot assembly. Come down to here. Item lantern equals lantern up. Oh, so that's how I'm doing it. Interesting. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to look at lanterns in game. I'm going to fix this so it works with Spear and Fang's lanterns right now. I need, um, not VS Model Creator, .NET Spy. Now let's look up the lanterns. Right, let's look at some in-game assets. Lock Lantern. Ooh-wee. Okay. Got an idea. So if this item stack, how, okay, how am I going to do this specifically? I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to make a new if statement. If, oh, I'm doing this in another one of my mods. I know which mod. It's the Vice Blocks mod. I remember, I remember it was annoying coming up with this, so I'm going to look to see what I already did that I know is working. Block entity. Bed storage, right? Oh, oh, better yet. 
Um, rust stones. I, I do it in my rust stones mod. I think that'll be easier. Source common. That's the temporal infuser. There we go. Item slots. Uh, fuel input is what I want to look at. Can hold. If this item is, uh, that's that's what it is. Slot item stack dot item is and then item temporal fragment. That is what I want. Oh shit! Wait, because this uh, th I can't do that because this is a block that I'm that I'm trying to do a comparison for. It's gonna be similar though. It's gonna be similar. So let's go in here. Let's do if slot dot item stack dot block. Fuck yeah! There it is. <laughs> Woo! Is and then I can do block uh, lantern return true. And say that it can hold it. I want to copy this because I realized I did it in the wrong thing. Um, I want to come down to. Uh, I don't need rust stones up anymore. Light input. I don't need this. I can just do this. Save. Can I? Can I test this? Are you going to allow me to get in the game with this half-broken bullshit? Nope. Apparently not. <laughs> Circuit inventory does not exist! Ah, uh, okay. I knew I'd have to fix this. Come all the way down to here. So, this storage VCM dot inventory slot light Right. Copy this. We're going to do a paste and a paste. And fix it there. All right. All right. That's going to solve some of the problems, but that is not all of them. Rebuild. Pff, it says it's all of them. That's bullshit. I know, I know where we're going to run into another problem. Hold on. It's going to be in the GUI because I changed the mapping. It's. I think I may have statically put in 33 in the GUI, which is why it's not registering a problem right now. So we are going to fix that. Uh, where would it be? It would be a little further down. See, machine inventory 40. Yeah, I'm putting in, I'm putting in statics here, which was really, really dumb on my part, because now I got things like this, right? Number of crates. This is, this is all the crate logic here. Uh, what, what was 40, right? Attributes. Oh, that's if it's locked. So that must've been the key. Uh, let's go further down. So it, it would have to be here. Um, insert fuel, power on and off. That's the auto text. This is the fuel section. Excuse me, fuel section. Uh, here we go, lantern. Yep, so I put a static thing in there. So what I could do instead is I can say um, this dot machine would it be machine inventory yeah because that's the generic no i want i want just machine did i call it entity owning entity maybe what was it up here inventory generic okay so i called it owning entity for some reason man this hat is becoming uncomfortable live streaming so long man it's it's tight on the ears. All right, so I would want to do this dot owning entity dot. It would be the storage system that I have to that I have to call. Okay, 
we're we're getting closer. Is this? Am I just taking? I'm just taking in entities, so I should do this owning entity equals owning entity as entity machine complete. Maybe that would solve my problem here, right? Because then what I could do is come over here. I can static cast entity machine complete to this. Uh, this whole part, so let's make these brackets here, and then I can do dot, whoops, dot storage slots here, storage VCM, dot inventory light, just like that. So I am effectively, no matter what I do now, I can change it in one place, it should propagate through in the future if I decide I want more or less spaces. In the lamp slot, yeah, I will keep it as lamp slot. Where else am I putting lamp slot? I think I have one more place that I got to check this out. Nope. That's it, apparently. That's the only place. All right. Save and build. And let's start. So if everything works right, I connected all the dots again. Um, spear and fangs, wooden lanterns, or if any mod extends lantern to make their own kind of lantern, my machine will be able to display it. Display it and light according to the mod's lighting properties, like how strong of a light the mod, you know, has their lantern as. Hmm. All right, where's that wooden lantern? Hey, it didn't blow up on me. Can it take items? Nope, good. Can it take, uh, let's pull up a couple lanterns. We'll pull up this wooden lantern and we'll pull up the old tried and true one that worked before. Ah, it is not accepting it. Not accepting it. So that, you know, that means that it may be, um, Let's look at the item for the lantern. It, it doesn't become a block until you place it, is what I'm thinking now. Shoot. All right, let's go over here. Uh, we're going to go into survival, item types. So maybe it is a block type. So this is the base game thing. So what do we got here? We got Block Lantern, Entity Class Lantern. So Block Lantern should be right. Um, where's that item slot? Light slot, here we go. Uh, if this is a stack of blocks, this is the type of block it's holding. Otherwise, null. What if I do... I, yeah, I don't think it'll ever, it'll ever be that. I think it has to be block. Let's put a VM references dot logger. I don't know why I just wanted to put two string. Let's do a string in here. I'm going to have a bunch of equal signs just so it, it uh, pops out easy to spot. And then what I want to do is capture this. And then do this to string. I want to get the, the name of what it thinks this block is. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to restart everything to see it. Yeah, I will. Or not everything. I just got to reload. Fireball it in. Item slot light input. Ba 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 ba. Bow 
trying to put it in. I'm not seeing anything come up. Nothing came up in the logs. It's not even getting to this. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, duh. Because I, I still have it set as a static here. So, yeah, it's never going to come up. Okay, so what I need to do is copy this, paste it in. If this ID equals inventory slot light. I know. We're going to have to continue editing. I'm going to have to shut down the game. We're going to have to rebuild. And we got to start again. I'm going to have to do it for all the other item slots. Yeah, it was still using 33, which wasn't mapped anymore. Technically, that lantern would have been able to go into the first slot of the um, of the storage containers, because that is now 33. All right, lantern. Oh, we got we got something over there now. Nope, still didn't do it. Hmm. Interesting. 36 through 39. Oh, shoot. I have to, I just have to go through and fix all of this right now. So, uh, display input. I'm going to get rid of that for now. I'm not doing anything with the display. I'm not going to do anything with ammo either. This needs to change. This should be 33. Or 33 through 36. That I will leave as numbers. Uh, locked key input <clears throat> is going to be ignition key. See, that would have been 39 instead of 40. And the light... Oh, shoot. No, wait. The light's 39. The ignition key's 39. So I meant to do 38 with that then. And then the light would be 39. Uh, so I had a duplicate. So zero is fuel. These are the item slots here. Everything else is going to be item slot storage. Let's give it a try. I think I'm going to have to do this in a couple of places, aren't I? Yeah, I got to do it down there, too. Damn it. So, copy. Paste. Save. Build. Start. I guess it's good for people to see this. If anyone has any problems, you know, actually dealing with the uh, inventory system in the game. This is how you do it. You create a virtual inventory, you do a deeper dive into the amount of slots you have, and then you look at the slot IDs, and if the slot ID matches the ID, you know, of like a light, then you give it a certain ability, boop, to take in only that item. No other items. See, okay, so, yeah, two block, damn it. I should have done that, item stack, because technically it wasn't a block that I just tried to put in. <laughs> It's that's what these tests are for. And it's just a print statement. I could I could probably get rid of it now. It was able to accept the lantern. Da 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 there we go. It takes in the lantern. This one? No, it still doesn't take it in. What does it say it is? It says it is a wood lantern pine up. Code primitive survival. 
block ID, so it is indeed a block. Let's look at the primitive survival mod. In order to look at other people's mods, we need to uh, not go here. Uh, let's go under data, mods, primitive survival. Uh, we'll drag and drop the DLL here. into .NET Spy. Oh, it's not, hold on, I gotta extract it. Oop. And then let's go into the desktop. There we go, primitive survival. Let's take a quick little look here. So, so specifically from Primitive Survival, I'm looking at anything Lantern related. So probably Survival. Crap. I'm having a brain fart with this. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so those are all the references. I guess I don't need the references, right? I don't need the resources. It's the module. Okay, so that's the mod config file. Here we go. Uh, block entity lantern. Lan I don't see a lantern block, block entity. Block lantern? Block limb trot line, block metal bucket, block entity. Hmm, interesting. So, let's look at the assets for primitive survival. Uh, it would be block types. Uh, let's look at the lantern specifically. Nothing. Okay, that's an item. Wood spike bundle. Block types. Wood. Wooden lantern. What do you use? Oh... He's doing this. He's not extending the lantern class file in here. Right? Let me I'm gonna go through. Cause it would have been towards the top unless he put it somewhere else, right? Behavior. So he's copying the behavior, right click property, the animation for the hand, the variant groups for wood, positions being either up or down. That's what she said. Uh, attributes. That's the handbook attribute. This is the shape by type. This is the texture. Creative inventory. Uh, density. Black material. This is dictating the light color and um, how bright it is. Uh, well, this is. That's dictating aspects of it too. Replaceable, which means grass can't grow and replace it. These are the third person, all the transforms for the item. Yeah, that's why it's not working. Because he just kind of, he, he did it a different way. What I could do is I could look for um, anything that contains wood lantern. So I guess the hacky thing I could try to do is, you know, if it's this or um, if slot dot item stack dot <sighs> item stack. 
item. Cause see, I, I have to I have to do it a couple ways now. Uh, well, what if I do block still dot uh, collectible behaviors? That's not really what I want. Item stack dot collectible dot code dot contains. Uh, path, would it be path dot contains, whoops, and then I can put in what his word is here. So it was, um, wood lantern. Right, because I, I could do something like this. Okay, this is, I, I messed something up here. I must have fat fingered something. Copy, paste. Oh, no, I didn't. No, never mind. I did not mess anything up. There we go. Ooh, man. I've been, I've been streaming for too long here. So basically, I want to take a look at. Uh, let me let me look at the assembly here. So slot item stack collectible code. Slot item stack collectible code. Uh, unique domain plus the code part, and then the path contains wood lantern. We'll give it a try. I'm gonna fireball it in. We're gonna reload the world. Oh, never mind. I don't have to reload. All right, so it's taking in the wood lantern right now. Good. Let's do time set night. Interesting. Oh, because I'm I'm also getting the light from another way. Oh man, this is a pain in the butt. Come on, Spear and Fang, my man. <laughs> Just extend extend Block Lantern, please. <laughs> so it works. Uh, we also have to fix it here, too. So what... Oh, yeah, that's the yeah, Lantern system. So let's, let's fix it so it actually shows up. That would be through here. Let's scroll down towards the bottom. I bet I statically put in 33 somewhere here <laughs> when when retrieving the item to do the rendering probably this uh render 3d item on model so render held item in ignition key slot uh that's the fuel that's the item i don't see it here Point one slot. Mm. It's particle effects. So this would be for the fuel slot. That's the storage box. That's the ignition key. Huh. How? Oh, man, I did this a stupid way, didn't I? Darn you, past vice. All right, let's start at the top. It's not going to be in the texture swapping. It's got to be in here. Um, Render held item. Oh, that's what it is. Item slot slot. I'm automatically trying to static. This is another static because if I come up here, it's trying to do the set and the get, and then I just do a static 33. What I should be doing is 
Uh, instead of a static 33 here, I need to do um, machine dot storage VCM dot inventory slot light. There we go. Fireball it in. I think I need to restart, right? Yeah, because it's part of the rendering. Or not restart. I got to reload the world. I'm pretty sure I got to reload the world. I think I think it will work. Oh, but it may not work because, well, it may. Because this is like when everything gets initialized. We'll see. If there's a lantern, great. If not, I have to restart. It's not a big deal. Yep, there we go. We got lanterns now. So if I put the wooden one here, there we go. We got a wooden lantern there. It's not really bright, though. It's not giving off any light. So for now, I'm just going to place that. <laughs> Stanley the wolf. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to have to figure out how we pull out... Um, how we pull out the uh, the variables here that he has in JSON format for the wooden lantern for the light, which is ba -ba 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 -ba, this part right here. So I'm gonna have to f I'm gonna have to get this. <laughs> that way it has light. Uh, the way I'm gonna do this is through. I got too many things open. We're gonna close all tabs. We're going to go back into here. I believe it's a little further down. One of these methods here pulls out the light. Uninteract, that's not it. Oh, you know what? It may not be here. I may have it in here. Maybe not. Ah, one of these. One of these. I really thought it was in here somewhere. What would we call it? Would, it would have to do with the light somehow. So let's look up light. Here it is. Here it is. So it's in here. I, I was right. So if the machine is powered on and uh, the machine dot fuel that is burning fuel. Oh, that's right. So I have it to where if it's on, the light is on. If it's not, the light's off. That doesn't really make sense to do anymore, huh? Because a lantern is just something that's always on. So whether the machine is on or off, if you have a lantern there, it probably should just give off light. Oops. Boop, boop. Right? So this would go down to there. Yeah, okay. Or better, yeah, I could go there. All right, so what am I doing here? I am looking to see if... I'm trying to get the block, and then I'm trying to get the light source of the block. Right? Let me let me save this. This may have fixed it. Yep, let's stop. This may have fixed it. That's better. All right. If not, I may you know what? I may just put artificial light. I'm not going to go through the hassle and jumping through hoops of trying to parse a JSON, you know, file to get a particular part of it and then somehow pipe in the three integers right into the correct places to propagate the same amount of light. It's going to be a low light. It is what it is. <laughs> All 
I wonder if that better chess mod does some something similar. Yep, that's what it was. So we're we're using this light now. Good. So anything any mod that extends block lantern can be used as a lantern on my machine. So there we go. Woohoo! I'm going to add that to the references here. It's totally done, but I should probably add it anyways. That way, when I'm coming up with all the changes when I release the mod, I will remember this. Um, with lantern light slot to take any any mods lanterns as long as they extend uh, I'll do block lantern uh, spear and fang I I did do you know something special there I have it to where it's looking for just an item called wood lantern so hopefully no one else has made a mod that has like wood lantern in it but you know fixed done compatibility awesomeness we got to fix all this still <laughs> I'm like I'm like procrastinating because I know how much work it's going to be. I got I got to start like from scratch pretty much. Uh, well, I, I'm actually I'm not procrastinating. I am doing a lot of things I need to do, like fixing all of these little uh, little systems here. So, storage slots 41. For now, I'm just gonna update it to 64 storage slots. We are going to make sure the storage system is right. We're going to double check this. So I'm going to cut all this. I'm going to paste it under here. Procrastinating, procrastinating. Yeah. La, 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 la. <laughs> all right. So storage box. One, two, three, four. We have the new assembly item that we have to make. Uh, we have the ignition key slot, and we have the light slot. I think that's all of our slots. Down here, uh, looks like all of this is making sense. Our fuel slot, our light slot, there's the key, storage. I guess since I'm doing input with everything else, I should probably keep the names the same. So right here, right, uh, item slot assembly, you know, shut down the game. We're going to put input after it. Yes, rename it all. Thank you. Oh, it did it for me. Nice. Which also means that I have to copy this. Uh, paste. This is going to be inventory slot assembly. Item slot assembly input. Copy this. And we'll paste it there. There we go. That way it's going to be ready to use in the GUI and it will, will be uh, mapped correctly as well. And it will specifically take in, at this point, it's block lantern. Uh, I should probably just make an item for the assembly right now. Um, what should I use? I could probably just use the instruction circuit as a base. 
Yeah, this could be a base item. Yeah. Copy, paste. Item instruction circuit. This is going to be item assembly. Item assembly. Paste, paste, paste. I have to register this new item. Copy, paste, cut, paste, and paste. Even though the item doesn't exist yet, we will be able to create an item and just map this class file to it. And then it will it will work. What I need to come over here and do now is item assembly. Right here, this needs to be item because it's only going to take in an item. So if you try and put an item in, as long as it's the, one of the assembly items that I make, the slot will indeed hold it. Done. <laughs> All right. I think I think with that. All of the, all of the crap <laughs> with the uh, storage system is working now. We we should be good to go. I should probably use this as an opportunity to audit the code, make sure that everything's kind of the same, right? Like all the all the key variables I'm calling should probably be the same with like this, even though you don't need to do it. See something like inventory should be this inventory, this inventory this max uh this entity it this core api and then id zero we shouldn't have that that's a static that is a very bad thing i will fix that in a moment so let's put this this inventory this return this inventory watched attribute return this inventory Paste, paste, uh, paste, paste, and paste, and paste. Okay, uh, and paste. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm going to clean this up a little bit too, so let's copy paste uh, instead of storage box this will be fuel inventory slot fuel copy paste inventory slot fuel uh, this is where the static zero comes in because it's going to be slot zero now I need to do copy this right so paste if id equals this inventory slot fuel i want to use the fuel input slot the restricted slot uh, i can get rid of these two things for the ammo and the display you know i'm not going to get rid of those i will paste them further down if i do this in order Next should be 33 through 36. And that's going to be the storage box input. The next thing is going to be the assembly, the ignition key, and then the light. So the assembly, cut, paste. The ignition key, cut, paste. There we go. And then the light slot. And then everything else return item. Why do I have one spe a specific slot for storage? Seems kind of dumb. What was I thinking with that? Where the hell are my item slots? There they are. So it's this. It's just an empty. What was I? What was I going to do? What did I ever have plans to restrict the items that you could store? No, no. That would be. That'd be silly. That'd be silly. So I think I don't need this. I'm going to get rid of item slot storage. 
the uh, this is going to be upset, but all I need to do is just have it default to regular item slots. What is this bullshit? I I hate that it it tries to it tries to help me by like putting all this gobbledygook code bullshit. It's like I don't want you to do anything obviously with it, or else I would have typed it. You know. Uh, all right. I'm gonna keep these two things: um, item slot, display slot, input. I'm not using them yet, but I just have them listed as work in progress, so I'll keep it. All right. I'm going to copy all of this. We're going to scroll down to here. I'm going to have to paste all of this. There we go. Save. I'm going to rebuild. Success. Good. Start. All right. We got to make sure that Basic inventory is working. Lanterns can only go into lanterns. Fuel can only go into fuel slot. Once that's done, I can close this out and we are done dinking around with the storage inventory system for machines. We needed to do that to do the GUI because the GUI specifically pulls from the storage slot arrays um, to you know transport that, right? So you can actually place something in the slot and have it register correctly. All right, so let's do a test. Can I put this in here? Nope, and it no longer crashes, hooray. Can I put this in here? Nope, but it fits in regular storage. Um, I don't have anything for the ignition key. You can put whatever you want in there for now. Uh, you cannot put this in because it's not fuel. Good. Um, this lantern, yep, it could be swapped out. It got dimmer because that's the light of this lantern. Uh, what about you? That works. Can't put it in here. Oh, we got we got a mismapping here, but that's fine. I, I honestly don't care about that. So it's a duplicate. That I can I can fix that. I have to rebuild the GUI anyways. Um Yeah. I think we're good. Let me try and make sure fuel still goes in the fuel slot. Oop, machine pellets. What are you? Night vision mask? No. 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 No, no. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> what? 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 Please tell me this is base game. Uh, interface, no, no, it would be, yeah, it would be interface. Developer mode, confirm. Uh, extended debug info. Code game, it's base. That's so cool. Oh man, that is so cool. Well played, well played. So wait, what was I pulling out? Fuel. That's right. <laughs> can this go in the, the fuel? It can go in here. Uh, it can't go in the lantern slot. Can this go in the fuel slot? No. Can fuel go in the fuel slot? Yes. There we go. All right. That is so cool. Uh, I have to power it with a temp gear. It's base. Yeah, it's so cool. I, I, don't, I mean, uh, I don't like that it's kind of glitching out a little. Got some Z fighting going on. But that could be easily fixed. So cool. All right. Boop. I think we're making pretty good progress. I can close this system out. We are done with it. All right, next thing. I probably should... I should probably look at a couple other things, right? Like machine setup. Fuel system. See, I don't I don't think I have to really touch anything else. Oh, I forgot that this has a heating system in it. So it warms keeps your character warm while you're riding in it. <laughs> Definitely neat. Uh appearance system. 
display screen info. Oh, I got I gotta I gotta standardize this fast. This was back when I I don't know. I used to code differently. There we go. Boop and boop. Paste those in in case I ever uh, pull them back in. Uh, that is my particle system, which I'm going to have to redo anyways. These are watched attributes. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Whoops. Double this. Boop and a boop. Turn this, has this. Paste, paste. Item stack, we're getting the item stack from here, world. Get item. Ice craft, machines flying. Ah, interesting. Convert machine to item is not working. Oh, got a phone call. Be right back. All right, that's my timer. <laughs> I, I got I got roughly uh, ten minutes. Got roughly ten minutes. I can do it. I, I can I can at least finish this in that time. But, uh, yep, 10 minutes. <laughs> I guess I can get rid of all the static casts here, too. Delete. 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 And delete. Whoops. Delete. This, this. I think I got everything for the most part here. Return this. Return that. Paste, 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 and paste. Okay, there we go. So that sh should be everything standardized. This right here, uh, unfinished copy from original mod, um, not used currently as machine has become more persistent. Yeah, this would have to change, right? I'd have to do um, references dot. I could probably do mod ID comma and then it would be machine complete flying. I should probably do basic. So if I ever call this method, it should convert it to the basic item. So the red Pokeball. And then it writes the tagged information as to like your fuel pff, energy. Yeah, we're not using energy right now. If it's locked, if it's broken, uh, locked, I don't care about. Broken, I do. Um, keeping items, killing it off, dino explosion is broken. All right. So I think that's a pretty good first pass through. I need to I need to create a new item, the assembly kit 
or whatever the heck I call it. Um, I need to create a new item. I also need to, once that item is created, I need a method that will convert the machine type On the, on the fly, depending on the item that is in the item slot. If that makes any sense. I could probably help to start mapping that out through an enum, maybe? Because for machine types, right, I already have basic, and then I have flying, ground, water, sea, underwater, hauler. But machine type's going to be a little different now, right? Because it's not going to just be like flying anymore. It's going to be like flying ground water, and then I have other versions too. So it would it would have to be a compound of things. So I would have to do something like, uh, let's say, ground and then darter. Right, so ground darter, ground carrier, ground hauler. And then I would have flying. Then I would have the sea. So this would be like the sea darter, the flying darter, the sea carrier the flying carrier, and then the sea hauler, the flying hauler, which means these I can get rid of. I could copy this. Let's go ahead and put the underwater versions that I will eventually make. Underwater Darter, underwater, carrier, underwater, hauler. We're going to have to shut down. This is probably going to piss a lot of things off. We are going to have so... Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to have so many issues <laughs> with this. Because this is this is how I was identifying um, things before. So I have a watched attribute for machine type. Yeah, and see, now now it's not like a hauler anymore. Now I have to say um, any version of a hauler. So I would have to do something like this here. Um, or this, or this. Right, and then I'm going to have to say um, C hauler. I have to say ground hauler. I'm going to have to say a uh, flying hauler. And I might as well put in the underwater hauler. So any of those variants, then I can go in and start looking at like the, the inventory system here. So we come further down, right? Uh, GUI flying, GUI ground, GUI C. So something like this, I would have to, again, do a copy or paste or paste. So this would be the darter, this would be the carrier, or this would be the hauler. Any of these, it's still going to be a flying machine. So this would show up. I believe what I'm doing is, yeah, compose GUIs right now. So it would have to be like that. Uh, what I could probably do to make this easier is do a copy, paste, uh, anywhere where it's flying. I could just put in ground. Same thing with the C down here.
And the same thing with this right here. See, instead of hauler, now it's going to be called like underwater. The underwater darter. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm excited to release this because it, it it's, I'm going to very much enjoy the, the different versions of each kind of machine. See, instead of hauler, this will be underwater. Save that. Entity mountable. Yeah, so this right here has to do with speed. Uh, how how movement actually happens. <sighs> so for this, you're going to have to do a copy. Um, ooh, actually, these are all static variables, aren't they? Or not static, but I'm specifically stating the motion for all of these. What else you got here? What's further down? This this has to do with actual movement direction. Okay. More movement direction, ground, C. And then hauler, which that would probably be just underwater. I, I think I'm going to have to do each subsection here. I'll have to think about that. All right, either way, it's been 10 minutes. Boop, 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 boo. Let's see who is playing Vintage Story. We, we've seen enough modding today. Let's, let's look at Vintage Story here. Who do we got? Old Man Trevor. Yeah, let's give him a, let's give him a raid. Copy. We are going to do exclamation raid. We're going to do slash raid old man Trevor. Never raided him. Wait, wait. Before before I hit enter, this dude speaks English, right? What do we got here? Okay, okay, English. Whew. <laughs> there we go. All right, everyone. Today has been a pretty productive day. Um, a lot of ideas have been ironed out. Now it's just putting in the work to make all the changes. Um, I will probably, to get the mod released earlier or sooner, I will probably release, like I'll focus on either just flying or ground or sea machines, probably ground machines first. Um, get them completely 100%. Get, the, you know, get it to where you can create ground machines based on these and then release an update so everyone can play. And then I'll do another live stream, right? And then we'll focus on like the flying machines. And then I'll get everything working with the flying machines, all the variables, create the item. That will be another release. So then people can just, you know, take out the old assemblies, put in the new to use the new machines. Same thing with the C machines, right? That way, uh, that way it, it, I can piecemeal it together and people can test things as well. I think that's what we're going to do going forward. Uh, next step for me is, of course, going to be to iron out all of these issues uh, in a in a decent way, right? A way that I'm going to be happy with. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. We'll get there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy this weekend. Hey, thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Yeah, it's good to do shout outs. Let's do that. A raid song? <laughs> you should get a raid song. Oh, he's playing Vintage Story. Nice. Doing some modding. Yeah, we're just sort of uh, wandering around, finding caves, exploring that and such. But uh, it's great to do some modding. Welcome everyone to the stream as well. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got some planted maple seeds. Interesting. But yeah, anyways, welcome to the stream, everyone.